And the wheel turns once again. Welcome in, builders. Put myself with the chat popped out here. Give me a holla when you guys hear me live. Lizard time. <laughs> Is that kind of like dessert time? All right, great to see people in here. I I feel so bad. I didn't post the uh, live stream like I normally do early. It has been a marathon this week at work, and it totally slipped my mind. So I am glad that people saw that that was up and running. Oh boy, 8 p.m. Ah, uh, yes, different time zones. They're, they are a thing. <laughs> Lizard stocks way up. I hope so. I hope so. I'm uh, hoping that this will be a pretty good one tonight. My lizard boys here. As per usual, we'll chit chat here for a couple of minutes, give people a second to see that the stream is live, and then we will be off and running. I'm I'm looking forward to this one. I'm hoping it's a good one. Um, I don't really want to talk about uh, exactly what I do, but I have a normal... Uh, well, it's called a 9 to 5, but wouldn't that be nice? Uh, an 8 to 5. <laughs> it's, it is my busy season at work, though, so and it will be for the next couple months. So it is quite tiring, quite tiring, to say the least. It's lizard time. Yep, yep, yep. People seem pretty excited about this one. I, I think this is one of those nations that just the theme is so strong that's what gives it its popularity because I feel like middle age and late age statists are mechanically better, but people love early age statists. So very cool there. Very cool there. Yeah, I was, do, I was doing something I normally don't do. Uh, most of the time I was kind of like, I guess you'd call it out in the field as it were working with different people and, and whatnot. So just a different energy than the normal grind. So has that extra extra layer of exhaustion. German, good to see you in here. Lizards strong together, that's right. We're all up on that warming rock. Bra, glad to see you made it. Glad to see you make it. Thank thank you. Yes, we, we hit 1,000 uh, last, I believe it was Monday. Uh, pretty exciting. That's kind of like the um, the big one. Is getting to a thousand. That's uh, after that, it's like a hundred thousand is the next thing of importance. So I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. <laughs> we, um, yeah, stream the Dominion content has just been doing great. Um, one of the Rimworld videos I put out last week has done excellent. People seem to really enjoy that. So looking forward to continue to make more content. And if anyone didn't see the community post, the plan to celebrate 1,000 subs is. We're going to do Lonka next week. It is um, one that I've kind of put off, even though I know it's going to be super popular, just because Lonka is so incredibly complicated. They've got so much going on. And, and by popular demand, we're going to do it with five thrones instead of our usual four. So uh, I'll, I'm not going to post it quite yet, but I'm thinking we might start streaming an hour early next week just to give myself a chance to survive the stream. Uh, without being up all all night, yeah. So we'll we'll do lizards and monkeys, and we'll see which one uh, wins there. The entire Florida office of the place I work unexpectedly quit. So oh oh, oh geez, that sucks, man. My um, compared to years previously, my department has been left with a skeleton crew. So we have been ground to dust this year. Okay, I think we've got people in here, and I'm, I'm happy to see chat's just a going. Let's go ahead and get ourselves rolling here. So back out of here. Let's get our world created. Um, I, I was thinking about what I want to do. I don't think I want to do our donut. I think we're donated out for the moment, unless we play somebody with some sailing or something. Are you guys feeling small lakes, or are you feeling two seas? I think those are my two options tonight. Uh, small lakes or two seas? I'm going to let you guys vote for like 30 seconds and we'll go with whatever. Whatever I'm seeing is the most popular. 
Oh, and yes, we're going to include Ermor on our list of nations. I do remember that being requested. At some point, we will fight Ermor. <laughs> I keep putting him in here, and the just circumstances have been against us actually having to fight them, so... Uh, CB, do you ever show your blesses that you were testing in your preview uh, build? Uh, it depends. Sometimes if, if I have two or three choices I'm pretty keen on, I show them in the video. And sometimes I, I'm more interested in what people uh, suggested. I didn't see anyone on this one particularly that I was like, oh, that's, that's really cool. Um, some people had some pretty heavy blesses that they liked, but I just don't like Nothing there inspired me, I'll say. I just don't feel like the Serpent Dancers are particularly great. They're okay, but not for the blessed points that they would cost. Okay, see what we got. Seas, lakes, 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 lakes. Okay, lake, lakes have it. We'll go lakes and get our wraparound going. The EA, TIS, stream. Still in our early age stuff. We'll add one player. I'm going to leave it on land nations. We're not particularly able to interact with the sea, so get ourselves our Satis. And remember that we're adding Ermor. Um, maybe we'll add in we'll add in some some monkeys. We'll add Kailasa, just to spice it up a little bit here. Yeah, well, you've got that to look forward to, bruh. So, you know, that'll keep you going. <laughs> Get you motivated. Okay, so um, I don't think any of my opinions have changed particularly on Satis since the preview video. I do still quite like their Charioteer. This is just a nice unit. Um, and what really makes it is this Lizard Barding. I wish, I wish more things had at least some head armor even if it was just like a little bit of leather or something, because this really makes a huge difference on this unit. So hopefully we will get a capital with enough resources that maybe we can do some expansion with these. It's kind of dependent on what we get though, because they are really pricey, 38 resources each. And you need, I'd say six plus to be able to do much with them. So we'll, we'll see how the map rolls for us. As for Pretenders, I think we are going to stick with the guy. I believe I showed him in my video. He just took Ar Arcane Finesse. Nothing nothing fancy here. And his main claim to fame is he's awake. So he's going to have an absolute ton. It'll be more than this of research. Plus he is an inspiring researcher. And just a little cherry on top. He's got Fortune Teller. Keep us safe from events. Um... Other than that, pretty bog standard, nothing too crazy here. The Arcane Finesse, because our main casters are not sacred, doesn't affect them. But for our Holy Spell, it's nice to get a little extra penetration on it. So it does something. Uh, mainly taken just because he starts with Astral Magic. And if you're going to have Astral, you really want 5 plus so you don't get Magic Dueled too easily. That's literally the only thought behind that there. This is specifically the Netter of the Moon trip. Uh, trip says, out of curiosity, I notice you don't often go for aggressive expansion monsters. Any particular reason why? Um, it just depends. If, if I was playing against humans, I would definitely lean a little more towards that just to protect yourself from getting rushed. The AI is not really going to beeline your capital like a player would. I know when I played multiplayer as... Marverni in a game. I just happened to expand directly into another player's capital, essentially. So it was like a turn, I don't know, five or six kill. I felt really bad because he was kind of a new player too. But yeah. In with the AI, it's less important. Um it depends. I also I, I haven't really adjusted fully to the blessing slash changes here. So I, I'm more of a scales player myself. Like, I just like having high economy, or really cool sacreds, or really cool national spells. So none of those things necessarily lend themselves very well to Awake Expanders. But there's nothing wrong with them. There's totally not. You just have to make sure that you build them in a way that they can survive. You don't want to be out there with 15 protection trying to expand with your Earth Serpent or something. 
All right, all all praise Beak. We'll see how he does. Rename it aloud. We'll have our Colt as is tradition. <laughs> Uh, we are going to stick with our four for this week. I don't have the oomph in me, but we will next week go up to five thrones, I think. In fact, let's give ourselves nine. All right, let's gin up that map. Vance, I would love to do that. Um, as I previously mentioned, I'm just in my busy season right now. I, I don't even know if I could commit the hour, so it would probably take me to play a multiplayer turn every day right now. Um, but I, I would love to do that. So hopefully... Uh, summer rolls around. I'll have a little bit more time and we can do that. It's going to be interesting. Um, I, I Maybe I can check in with my old crew, but none of them are really playing Dom 6. So I would I would probably be looking for either a subscriber game or a public game. But I don't know. That's new territory for me to explore as a, making content on the game. Okay, as usual, we're going to turn on our Dominion Candles right off the bat. See what we got. Okay, we got a river. Rivers are great for us because we have swimming. So unless we have chariots with us, we can always cross those rivers. Which really is important on this map because we actually have quite a few crossings here. Looks like there might be one over there too. Okay, not too bad. I do see we have farmland here, so maybe a quick second fort. Got at least some forest here. This isn't plains and river. It's all right, good income. We do like money, since we are a caster kind of focused uh, nation. Yeah, caps, circle thrones are, eh, I, I don't like them, but is what it is. I do kind of wish there was a setting for don't generate thrones in cap circles. That would be nice. I I like the randomness of thrones, but yeah. Especially when it's really uneven. Like, we only get three connections because of that. So that's going to make us a little weaker. And it's our resource place, so... Chances are chariot expansion's probably off the table already. Alright. We'll check. We could hire archers for 150. We'll think about it, but probably not. I think we will prof... well... We don't really need the Holy Three, so there is an argument to be made about not profitizing your first guy. I mean, maybe we could do it to her. She's kind of worthless. There's not too many situations where a, a plain Holy One's gonna do much. I'll think on that. Let's see what we got for research. Construction 2, interestingly enough. So we could go up to three relatively easy. Thermaturgy. We do have communion people, so that's useful. Other than that, though, um, Frighten's okay. That's not the worst thing to have. Tear up at four. Our god is Astral 5 and mobile. So we have Teleport available, Soul Slay. Um, Anti-magic is going to be a big one if, if we get that far. Having our god be able to cast that really easy is nice. We can natively cast Enslaved Mind. We can natively Gateway. So a lot of utility for such a simple chassis. Don't think we're going to do any of that, though, to start with. I think we will go straight to Skeletons is kind of what I'm feeling here. So we're going to probably go straight to 5 Enchant. If we didn't do that, maybe we'd grab a little bit of Evo or a little bit of Alteration. Our Shamans aren't really going to have anything to do if we don't. If we did... Animate Tree is not the worst thing ever. Body Ethereal, not the worst thing ever. That's up at 3, though. That's quite a delay. Yeah, I think we're going to do Enchant 5, and as we approach that, we'll revisit. Think about what we want to grab there. Hours per turn. Yeah, the, when I'm talking hours per turn, I'm talking like a four or five person multiplayer game where the idea is uh, we, we generally would play it one turn per day. So a 24 hour turnaround. And because most of them were Eastern time, what usually would happen would be I'd play one turn, the turn would process, and I'd immediately try to play my next turn and get both turns in the queue so that when they, they all got on the next day, 
same thing would happen. So we would generally actually end up playing two turns like every other day, if that makes sense. Okay, you are going to just preach for a turn. Let's see what we got for resources. That's actually not too bad. 158. Um, do we want to grab a better leader right off the bat? We could grab a Taskmaster and a leader. Let's do that. I think we're going to go... We don't know what we have around us yet. I think we're going to go for the super cheap Slave Warrior and just bulk ourselves out. These guys are very nice and efficient. Quite like these guys. Those just... Uh, an above average attack with good damage and two attacks is just so good on such a ridiculously cheap unit. I do prefer the elite warriors, but as you can see, we can already spend all these resources. I'm really torn if I want to profitize this guy or not. I think I will get those temple checks just rolling, the free profit checks. And if, when he dies, we'll redo it. So let's give him a rename. All right, let me see. Name I maybe recognize, but hasn't had a turn yet. Um, Merrily Fish, in uh, commiseration for our work suffrage, uh, thank you for your service. May you... Uh, May you live long and prosper <laughs> as our prophet this week. All right. Uh, do we have the gold left for mercs? No, we do not. We checked in on our research. Um, yeah, let's not let's not check who we got yet. Let's see who profitizes turn one. And of course, we're going to research. We ended up with twenty eight research with our pathing that we picked. So. Not the hugest thing ever, but a nice little spike here at the beginning when it's cheap. That's like two turns for a level one. And as we get some more researchers in, he'll give them that plus two. So between that and our magic scales, a bonus of three makes our researchers much more efficient. Yeah, yep, yeah, Trip. I think I think you yeah, I was gonna say, I think you died to fire if I remember right. <laughs> the praise Rex, that's all you can say sometimes, you know? Alright. Do that one. Is Tartgate a thing still in six? Yes. Um, whoops. I believe that is. Yep, right here. Level nine. Uh, if you don't know, level nines were changed. Instead of just getting all the spells, you have to pick which spell you want to research when you get up that high. So it has slowed down those really high end spells somewhat. Okay. Um. All right. We got Ermor. The Prophet of Bone Eater. Master of Veils. King at the Crossroads. The Hidden One. Okay, so that sounds... Death and Astral, maybe. And K Master of Veils kind of sounds maybe like Glamour. don't recognize that one. We've got Kailasa doing one. Zanero, he who confuses the way, Lord of Insects, Watcher of the Gallows. All right. Um, I think Lord of Insects, isn't that a blood, I want to say? Or maybe growth? That's definitely death. Interesting. Us, of course. <laughs> Beak, the afterthought, keeper of celestial records, the remote and inaccessible prince. That's not too bad. It's kind of a bookworm bird. It's all right. Baratos, interesting. Maiden, king of the world, master of wildlife, herder of men, eater of children. Ha <laughs> ha. Herder of men, eater of children. Okay. Sounds almost like a Lanka thing. And Mespelheim. Fenric, god of elements, divine inspector of canals, and sword of balance. All right, all right. Let's see who didn't profitize. So we saw that, we saw that, saw that, saw that. Okay, so that was everyone except for 
We didn't see Calum, which, uh, Calum. And of course, our, I think these guys are overcoming the fire giants as our nemesis. Pyrene is just under our skin all the time, literally and figuratively. All right, let's throw people out. We will move over to our better leader. You are going to cast. Um, I didn't grab any Serpent Dancers this first turn, so you can just to ensure I don't forget, bless yourself in case we're add people later on, and then we'll do a couple of Sermons of Courage, and then you can advance cast spells. Got our formations rolling here. Not in love with these light infantry. I do wish our, our regular heavies had javelins, but they don't. So we just work with what we have. I think we do want to actually be as close as possible since we're going to be javelin throwing. All right, stay behind troops. Stay behind troops. We're going to have these guys hold an attack. I think we're going to do rearmost. I think we're actually going to split those guys into two groups just to try to ensure somebody... Oh, nice. Somebody actually makes it to the back. We'll see if that actually happens or not. Right away, we're going to want some more recruits. I think we're going to go... Grab a shaman, I think. Actually get our serpent dancers this time. And we can get 14 city guards. We could get nine heavy infantry. We could just get a ton more slave warriors. I think we just go with the slave warriors. Although, because we have resources, we can get some elite ones. Try to use up all of our resources here. Oh wow, are we actually going to be able to get... Oh, pretty close, okay. Um, and then the question is, which way are we going? 130 militia, heavy infantry, and archers. We definitely... I feel like we should win that, but that would be pretty painful. 100... Militia, Heavy Cav, Light Cav. Again, I think we would win that, but that'd be pretty painful. 60 Militia, Light Cav, Heavy Cav. Man, those are not the friendliest things. And for our throne, Bear Tribe and Heavy Infantry. And I don't... What are those Heavy Infantry? I do not recognize that model. That's not a human, I don't think. Almost looks like a middle-aged or late-aged Abyssian or something. I am not sure what that is. What kind of heavy infantry? That's a little worrisome. Okay. Um, if we went this way, we could maybe secure the choke point. That's something. Okay, we see another throne in that direction. This is already pretty, pretty darn close. We do have another farmland. If we went here, our god could deliver reinforcements if we had to. I think we're, I think we're gonna go for the easier, what I think is the easier one here. And we'll also, actually, yeah, we'll bring her too. She can either preach or search behind the main army sure I've got put her on spells but she can't do anything blessing and still our degree but this is just for banishing so unfortunately not going to do much there we'll pull her back a little bit hopefully she won't try to run up on them I find those ones can be a little hit and miss with the AI fire giant stalking him again yeah <laughs> um yeah the fire giants wouldn't be the most fun for us but we would have skelly spam, so if nothing else, we might be able to just bog them down and then hit them with fear. I have seen community memes mod. I have not looked into it too deeply. 
Um, that is one I would be vaguely interested in. I, I do wish that you could just tell the AI to pick from my pre-made gods. Like, I wish that wasn't even a mod needed. Because I have just tons of gods. Like, it'd be kind of cool just to leave each one we play, and then they would just be in the pool of gods who can be picked. Be pretty interesting. All right. We have recruitment set up. We have a plan here. Ooh, elephant core. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Now, he hear me out. What if we elephanted these? I, I kind of like that idea. How much of these can I still get for two if I had 200? I, th I think we're going to go for the elephants. This uh, We did this before, and I don't remember who we were using, uh, Baratos and somebody else. But that's this is a pretty darn strong one. And if we did that, maybe we could combine here and then take that, and then maybe early fort. I kind of like that idea. I think we're going to go for it. It's hard. I tend to find after the first couple turns, it's really hard to win mercs. The AI just seems to have so much money they just pour into mercs that... Until you get to the point that money doesn't mean anything, uh, it's hard to win those. All right. First level enchantment is done. We have our first battle. Mincenar, welcome in, man. Hungo Bunga came in. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get around to playing those guys, too. Ah. <sighs> the life of somebody who is not a full time YouTuber. <laughs> I have so much content I want to make, and I just don't have the time for it. Okay, that was okay, but yeah, they have low morale, so taking a heavy cav charge is not great for them. Okay, yeah, this is... that's actually really messing me up. Now we're pinched, and they're chasing those. That... ooh... Ooh, that that not good. <laughs> uh oh. I'm glad the heavy charge went into the slave warriors, but we are getting completely pinched here. Did you guys make it? You did, but you're not on the leadership. We might lose our first expansion. Man, it's been a couple weeks since we had one of these. We're retreating. Oh boy. Wow. What bad what bad luck on that heavy calf. Wow. That did that heavy calf just literally beeline for our flankers? Is that what happened there? So they were in the middle. They were running down. What the heck? What is their scripting that they were able to go around my front line? If they're on attack rear, they should have gone straight and touched right here and gotten stuck. I don't have anything that's cav, so they couldn't have been on attack cav. I have no archers. Wow. Did you literally see that? They were like, char, whoop, charge. Wow. Okay. I feel like that one was not my fault. I feel like we got screwed on that one. And then these guys broke, and they're so fast they ran away while our attack closest guys chased them. If they had stayed here and fought, we would have killed these guys and probably morale routed the heavies. But we didn't, so we got sandwiched and killed. Including our, our better leader and our prophet. And of course, the Junker, Junkler Holy One probably makes it off field. Rip a Roni. What a cav charge. Wow. Those guys deserve a raise. Holy crap. I still want to know what scripting allowed them to, to do that little S curve. Why can't my cav do that? All right. And our, our high bureaucracy made us lose income. Perfect. We also did not win the Mercs. Peering did, of course. 
Rip of Roni. Wow. Okay, well, we have lost all of our leadership. What made it back? A handful of guys. Only the lights. None of our heavies made it. We hardly even killed anything, did we? A smattering of junk. We just completely bounced that, basically. We lost 69, less nice than normal. And what retreated was basically the garbage. Okay. Okay, it's going to be one of those streams. Right. Okay. All right. Um, leadership, Taskmaster. Um, I guess if we're starting from scratch... I think we're still going to get these guys. These will help us maybe kill the heavy cav. And then we just go elite warriors as our new front line. Okay, let me let me check in with chat and see how distraught we all are here. Or near Fubar first fight. Yeah, dude, seriously, I'm, I'm feeling my lizard salt levels rising. That curveball, I want to watch that again. We're watching that again. I have never seen Cav almost hit the front line. Okay, let, let's do that in slow motion. Okay, so here they come. Obviously front closest, right? Right? Like everyone agrees these guys are closer than those guys. And if they're on attack rear, they should go straight. So if they were going straight, we should have hit right here. And then just whoop right to the side perfect dodge that's what we call a pro gamer move man i should have followed the don't rename your profit meta that's what i get okay okay should have gone south <laughs> things did go south i don't know what you're talking about yeah that's too real that's too real It's not that heavy cab's even deadly. That was just like, that was just a curveball. Had they actually fought, we would have won because we would have killed those uh, militia and they would have routed. <laughs> heavy cab drifto. Nope, nope. That's not a restart. We we're, we're playing that. That we're playing that. Nope. Bring on the pain, as my friend would say. Beaks armies aren't afterthought. <laughs> AI getting smarter. Yeah, that was... I, I'm literally going to watch that on replay when stream ends and just sit there and, and be sad. All right, well, I guess you can preach even though that's not going to do anything here. We're going to recruit those guys. We're going to recruit those guys. We've got 300 bucko runies left that nobody to spend it on. There's no way we don't have any leadership, so we can't even move out. All right, roll it. Yeah, let's get some Euro beat in here. All right, uh, I don't, and, and we're not going to have enough with what, what we have here to go out this turn. So we're going to have to just chill. Plus, we lost our profit, so we're going to struggle to actually bless these Serpent Nancers. So we're going to need another turn at least of recruitment. I almost want to put some runners out front just to eat that, hev ca that heavy cavalry charge. I think I will. Just get like 10 of those. And I think we'll go for stay efficient. And then we're just going to go with a bunch of these. We'll just need one more turn of this. Man, here I was thinking... You know, maybe it's the curse of having good throne position. Because that kind of happened with uh, Abyssia, too. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be too fast of a game. And it did not turn out to be too fast of a game. Hmm. Oof, salt level's dangerously high. We're just getting started. 
I'm already having to crack open the tea. That's also not a good sign. All right. Round two, hopefully better than last time. All right. We're going to have you. We're going to have you and you all are going to go here. We're going to have you guys right here on attack cav. Should get them where I want them. You guys are going to just chill here on a hold and attack closest. Man, this is not. I think we're just going to stuff these in here. This. I do not like how this looks at all. I don't like this one bit. Um, hold and attack. I think we're doing cav on these guys too. I really want them to engage with the heavy cav. And the, the, this poor um, hero duel that I've always made fun of and said how worthless she is. Look who's laughing now. Look who we need desperately, absolutely desperately to get the blessing off. That, that plus one morale will hopefully hold us through the uh, heavy cav damage that we take. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Round two. The lizard grinder. <laughs> Summon some long dead. That's actually not the worst idea ever. We are going to need... I think we would probably go for that gentleman. In fact, actually, hold on. Let's pump the brakes here for a second. Let's actually grab a construction three because I believe I can build the uh, summoning buff object at three and then we'll go up to five here. We, we may need to do emergency gym spamming because it is already um, several turns in and we don't have a province yet. Research, research, research. Salt crocs on the field. <laughs> we can summon those up too. <laughs> Red pants OP. <laughs> All right. Does it go better on round two? All right, it looks like we're going to connect with our, our decoy units and take the heavy. We're just looking to soak up those heavy lance hits. Yep, okay. All right, now we're looking for a good, good connection here. For anyone who doesn't know, these guys actually have cataphract barding. So they actually, they're like our chariots, have good horse armor so we're probably not going to kill the mounts out of off out from under a lot of them we'll probably end up killing the rider okay that was a lot of a lot of not poisoning people yeah i am just not impressed with these guys at all These should do really well. This is a great matchup for us. Okay, good. We got the route. It was a little tense there for a second. That is the usefulness of having a cheap unit to die to your heavy cav. When they don't get their lance charge off, and they're just fighting you with a broadsword and their hoof, they're a lot less deadly. It's that initial charge that's almost a guaranteed kill. All right. I expect that this is our win now. I don't think the archers are going to be able to route us off. 
Although these guys, I think, do... Okay, good. These guys have spears. They don't have light lances, so they're not going to get a charge on us. Yeah, get out of here. You jerks ruining my stream. All right, we finished Enchant 2. I don't think Enchant 2 particularly gives us... I guess Revive King might be useful. And Venom Arrows, yeah, not really. Yeah. yeah, not much else particularly useful there. So we're going to have three turns till we get Construction 3. All right, while we're doing that, we'll build up some Reborn... Actually, no, we're going to need to move some more troops around here. I think I'll grab another turn of that. All right, well, we have a province. I'm actually going to go all the way up to 11 just to make sure we don't lose that. Um, yeah, I, th I think we just need to clear Cap Circle now. We don't even get to expand anywhere yet. What an absolutely rough start, man. Well, sometimes you just play the hand that you're dealt. Got a recruit there. Merc-wise, green men. There is an absolutely garbage squad that I'm going to bid on because we are that bad. Maybe we could take our water province here. Oh, no. Never mind. They've already been bid on. All right. Roll it. Your bless is literally plus pro. Yeah, well, I don't I don't know how much of a bless would have made a difference there for the uh, serpent men. The uh, serpent dancers against heavy cav. I am not the reason I grab these guys is even without the bless, they're relatively cost efficient. I mean the matchups aren't particularly great, but They didn't do as well against the heavy cab as I thought they would. I thought we were going to see some poison going off, and I don't think I saw any poison going off, which tells me they were not getting through the barding. Right, these ones are not nearly so bad, because these are not the cataphract heavy armor. These are just regular, quote-unquote, heavy cav. Although we are getting wrapped. That makes me nervous. I'm on double attacks. High casualties on both sides. The Serpent Dancers are chasing a random horse off the map. Very useful. And we hold, barely. Whew. What nation actually gets cataphracts in EA? Um, Sarmatia does. And you, you could maybe argue that what Ermor's running around with is kind of, sort of, but not really. So Sarmatia is what you're really looking for. Okay, definitely our win there. Did And somebody asked, did she run up and just slap a guy? Yes, yes she did. Hold on, we'll, we'll double check that. Because <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. So she should be on advance and cast spells. So she runs out of things to bless at some point. Yeah, so she moves up and and just dies. So no, she did not slap a guy. Yeah, we just got two outnumbered there. Oh man, that is a rough start. All right, what do we have? Oh jeez, more cataphracts? Seriously? All right, Port Strong is too strong for us. We can take these guys, but not with what we have left. So let's drop. Man, what are we on turn-wise? Turn seven, two provinces. Boy, I hope you guys uh, are settled in for a comfy long stream, because we are going to be here for quite a while tonight. All right, um... I think we're getting some more magic. Nope, we're going to need somebody to do a bless. It can't be him because we need to move out in one turn. So it's going to have to be like a high priest. We also should start our temple training. I haven't been able to do that because we've been desperate on cash for troops. I think I will grab one of him. Uh, Sermon of Courage is actually useful. So I will grab him. 
And do we have enough resources to actually maybe build a front line? Yes, but we wouldn't have enough troops to do anything. So I think we have to go with these guys. Any mercs? We can bid on the green men. We are bidding on the green men. Okay, you're just gonna have to chill for a minute. You're just gonna have to chill for a minute. <laughs> snoot game getting a bloody snoot. Yes, it is. Double cataphract means pain. That's what that means. Man, we have such good position. Look at this. We could have had a fort here, a fort here, a fort here. With this river, like we have a pretty easy chance of defending that. We are going to get encroached on like ridiculously too. We're just being so dang slow. We should probably at this point have like here, 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 and like a second expansion party grabbing like this. We are so ridiculous. And we're, we have to go home this turn. So we can't expand. So then next turn, we'll probably try to hit this. So on turn nine, we'll have three provinces, hopefully. Man. I didn't have a single test game go this badly. Even on my weird cataphract or uh, chariot only expansion test game, I did better than this. All right. Everyone in the army. You guys go there. You guys go here. Go there. Okay, we did win the mercs. Now the question is, these guys are complete garbo. But, but, hear me out. <laughs> do we take them with us anyways to ensure that we get this? Or do we think that they can beat 20 shamblers? Two to one, I feel like we could beat shamblers. I feel like we can do it. Oh man. Once bitten, twice shy here. I'm I'm really worried about that actually. Blackfist, that's a much more respectable group. If we got them, maybe we could expand into that. So let's try to bid on those guys. We'll do like 320 higher than. Okay, you, no, you, you, and you. We're going to go here. I think I have to take them. I, I, I think that we literally cannot afford to bounce again. We have absolutely got to win some territory here. Okay, I'm going to switch you guys over to just closest instead of cav. And then you need to cast a few blessings and then some courages and then whatever. Actually, no. Let's actually get a Temple Trainer running so we can get our free units. They're not the best thing ever, but free is free. My life for Beak. <laughs> yeah, I, the ladies love Beak. That's all I can say. Uh, lizards are not amphibious, so we cannot go underwater natively. We have swimming, so if we were underwater by other means, we have less of a penalty than we would have for not having it. And we can walk over unfrozen rivers with swimming. Uh, swimming also, I believe... I believe it's swimming? Let me double check that before I give you some misinformation here. Yeah, swimming gives you the underwater penalty reductions... And Swamp Survival negates the usual combat penalties for fighting in swamps. So I think that's just like a little attack and combat speed penalty, if I remember right. Maybe a little defense. Alright, see how that actually went.
I should have probably had those on hold. Although I am okay with them taking the casualties, so. This actually was far less scary than what we expanded into, too, so. We did not have good intel on this, unfortunately. Okay, this is a pretty good matchup, actually. The uh, Serpent Staves are length 3, so you don't have to worry about getting repelled against Spears. That is one of their benefits. We should clean these up pretty handily. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Well, we have our cap circle. There you go. Year one, we have our cap circle. Yeah, we'll just shred these guys. Okay. We got our research done. Now you, can you... Oh, you did not forge what I wanted you to be able to forge. Okay. You are going to be on train temple. Okay, he has 100 undead leadership. We are actually going to do some uh, long dead summoning. We're going to do a few turns of that, and he can lead those out. He'll go out with another expansion party. All right, what actually survived? 30 units survived. The thing about getting this underwater province is we're not going to get the resources. We don't have an ability to pull resources out from underwater, so it would be more of a cash thing. On the other hand, though... We could start recruiting shamblers and then use those to take the sea, maybe. Or we stay together with our army and try to get another heavy infantry and slingers. Uh, militia, archers, heavy infantry. I would love to get this so we could start building some infrastructure. I think we do that. Let's fix that scripting problem. We need to hold an attack. Our, our expansion is so dang scruffed anyways. I mean, it's not going to be a huge difference here. That's definitely not enough to go back out. Okay, resources are much better though. Maybe we can sneak in some chariots. Yeah, maybe the chariots can help us make up that deficit that we're rolling on. I absolutely, I really hope we can take this. This is kind of a risky attack. And of course, of course they win Black Fists. These guys seem to always win Mercs. I gotta check out their economy. Like, something's up with that, because they, they consistently win that. They've got a lot of gold just sitting around for some reason. <laughs> Increase the dominion of chat. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. We need every bit we can get here. I think the next thing we need is like, we'll get our new prophet and he'll get like a, a werewolf amulet. And then we'll find some fire mages just to top ourselves off here. All right, please be a victory. We really could use this. Our expansion is already garbage. We need to get a second fort down so we can at least get our research going. This is a lot of heavies, but they're not so heavy that our, our stake, our serpent dancers can't hit them. So I think we'll be okay. Oops. Shrub check. Shrub's good, guys. Don't worry about it. Man, I cannot get over that drift technique on that heavy cav. I, yeah, that is ridiculous. I've never seen somebody perfectly dodge a line like that. I wish there was a way you could check the enemy scripting. I want to know how they did that. 
Right, this is a pretty good matchup. These guys are not killing enough to stop us. Yeah, good, good on that. And we'll just completely kill the Slickers. Okay, good, good. Alright, green men, sadly, we will try to keep them. Wet ones, now we're talking. I would really like those. Alright, let's see what we need to spend, though. So, if we took him out of the army and had him start building a palisade, and you guys continue to expand into there, and back here... Let's grab like a cheaper research option and say a few more chariots and our sacreds. Okay, that's the gold we have left. Let's see if we can get the wet ones with everything we have left. Those guys I feel relatively confident could actually make some some gains underwater. Okay, and let's just kind of tighten ourselves up here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, normally gr green men literally I get them when I want I want somebody to eat a heavy uh, lance. So the fact that they've actually survived a couple fights, you know, it's it's funny. Like as as you know, funny and memey as it is when you when you lose something stupid like that. I feel like the most fun you have in Dominions is when weird stuff like that happens, and you have to just like kitchen sink it. Like I'm gonna do fire gems into gold and we're going to build this weird item that you would never build normally and oh look we're using the green men to expand my 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 secret multiplayer expansion strat has been revealed you just use the green men ooh cold though that's not going to be good for us yeah so Encumbrance 7, and when you check it, cold-blooded and cold climate plus 2. So we are running really, really high on encumbrance. <laughs> Green Kings. <laughs> they probably serve Rex, the Green Kings. Alright, I'm expecting a win here. It's a matter of how many casualties do we take to get it. We are not wearing hats, so slingers are actually a little bit dangerous to these lizards. A head hit probably will end up in us dying. Alright, but tridents win the day with our 20 piercing damage. Yeah, quite handily. Yep, good, good there. The wet ones have been bought. Okay, now we're talking. Maybe... Maybe it's a comeback story. I don't think he's a good enough leader. Oh, he is a good enough leader for formations. Look at that. Or or not. Leadership 100. You guys just being cranky? Huh, interesting. Leadership 100 is normally the uh, cutoff for that. Okay, all right. That's fine. Don't be on retreat, though, please. Please be on... Uh, you can stay behind troops. All right. Unfortunately, shamblers are damaging enough that we probably will have losses here, but I'm okay with that as long as we win. All right, we're building our palisade. I also did not drop defense here, which is a mistake. I don't think I did it here either. No, I did not. I'm going to go straight to 11. We have some misfortune, so I'm expecting bad things to happen. Okay, this army is actually looking pretty healthy still. Bone Tribe? Okay, we know Bone Tribe are absolute monsters, so that's probably a no-go. Militia, Light Calf, Heavy Calf. Which Heavy Calf are you guys? We can't see it. 
or here. Militia, Archer, Heavy. We definitely could win that. And it's not in the cold. I think we'll go where it's not cold. And just hope. This seeing this much cold this early kind of makes me wonder if we don't have a cold neighbor here. It is late enough that we naturally could have that. Our own heat is good enough to hold it back, so we're still at heat one. Okay. What do we have back at town here? Do we have enough that we could start heading out? I do wish they would add a hotkey for select all of unit type, i.e. undead or demon or etc. Because it's a little hard to like this. You can do an A for all, but like I don't want my snakes in there. So this also, if no one's ever checked this out, we do have these guys. So this is the skeletal version of those slave warriors. They are very good. They have the same attack and damage stats as their living brethren do. So these guys are quite, quite good for undead. And for our sneaky boys, I think we'll put them in there. I do think this is plenty to actually go out. So we will do long dead in the front to take hopefully the damage. And did I record the wrong? Oh no, you're on a slave guy, so you can't do formations. Right, right, right. It's gonna be kind of it's gonna be oddly janky. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold an attack closest. We're gonna hold an attack closest. We're going to hold an attack. Hold an attack closest, and we are going to hold an attack. You guessed it, closest. Hopefully we'll just chariot smash everything. That's kind of the plan with this group. And you, uh, you don't have great choices here. I think we're going to toss some decays. And then we're going to go into Frighten. I don't like Animate Skeleton. It's 30 fatigue for a Skeleton. It's just not worth it. I'd rather throw some decays and some Frightens. And then he can just cast spells. Stay behind troops, stay behind troops. All right, so we need you, we need you, we need you. We're not gonna have anybody to bless, but I think I'm fine with that. Okay, where are we going? We could take this, we could probably take that. We could take that. This would be a pretty good chariot target. This also is pretty good. We can't cross a river with our chariots though. So we would have to go here and then here, or here and then here. Let's try to get this, and then maybe we can swallow up this throne and just keep people away from our cap. We have not lucked into scouts, have we? And I just missed it. No, no we haven't. Although we do have the heavy cap here. So we do have essentially cataphracts. Fortunately, not in a good spot. All right, wet one's under there. You guys are going there. We got four turns on our palisade. We'll send a lizard man down there to build infrastructure, but not yet. Or do we? Maybe we do, because I would like to get some dominion out. Okay, at home, we'll need... Um, I think we're still in budget mode. We got a lot of things that we still need to build out. I would like to actually get a real army, quote unquote, with like an actual front line. Maybe we take a couple turns for the next group and actually build that out a little bit. Stop you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Muscle memory or something on that. Heroic stat for leadership. Uh, are you talking to this guy? <laughs> Let's see. Iron will increase magic resistance. So this is probably like the most heroic uh, marrow to ever live. Like, look at this dude. He's level two. That doesn't happen to these people. He's a living legend. And might might. Is this literally like the parade of horrifically bad 
uh, guys, but we are going to bid on them. Like, don't don't take me telling you how bad these are that we're not going to bid on them, because we totally are. If nothing else, they can take hits for us. Unused nature gems. Um, we would have to research conjuration to get to lions, so that's not happening for a while. If it, if it's going to happen. Let's roll that one. The lion comebacks. Man, is this is the Satis stream just literally like the redemption arc for like all the all the like horrifically underpowered things, and somehow we just kitchen sink them together. Like this is like um, the replaceables or the uh, expendables or <laughs> you know the, the the whole hockey team is on strike, so we have to bring in our third stringers. The uh, Satissians to play hockey, and we're really bad at it because it's so cold. So we have like a training arc. All right, enchantment three is done, which is pretty good because that gives us raised skeletons. So this is much better. It is not good, but it's better than just the summon one. For 40, you get three. So we can do this three times before we pass out for nine. This is usable. Not good, but usable. So we are heading straight for Horde of Skeletons, which we can cast three times and will give us 15 Skeletons. That also will give us Pale Riders, which we may actually summon, so. Okay, uh, the Lazy Gods are waking up. We had two fights. Okay, I'm expecting a win here. I don't think that... Yeah, I think we'll win this. Shrub check. I really need to memorize these hotkeys so I don't have to click on them. I always forget this one, S. Because I have my hand over on the arrow keys to move and not on WASD like you normally would. Definitely something I would like to see changed. I think they should have a WASD option. All right, we, we did get good matchups here. These guys are good against Heavy Cav. Uh, these guys are bad against everything, but they're maybe they're better with experience. Yeah, with experience, they're better than uh, Militia. Look, what, what a come up story for these guys. When did you ever think you would hear me say these Marrow are better than Militia? Look how happy they even look. All right, we're cleaning up the Heavy Cav really well. Elite Slave Warriors are just so cost efficient. So good with that trident. Look at look at this champ. He's like, I got this shit. Ah, oh, right in the knee. All right, I think this is just clean up. I don't think we're gonna fail this. Taking more losses than I would have liked there, though. I actually saw some poison go off there. Okay. What did we lose? Not bad. Ironically, we only lost the chieftain somehow. He, he was just too brave for his own good, I guess. Okay. How'd the wet ones do? Now, these guys are actually really good because they have actual amphibian. So, they should do just fine down here. The afterthoughts. Ouch. <laughs> now, our advantage here is these normal shamblers, uh, we saw this with the Atlantis stream, they get repelled an awful lot. Like, let's see how this guy did. Okay, so he hit for three. He got repelled. He got repelled. Yeah, this is the problem with these shamblers is they really, really struggle against length three weapons. They just get repelled ridiculous amounts. Yeah, so when they do hit, they probably get kills, but yeah, they, they, they hit way below their weight what their stats would otherwise look like. So keep in mind, especially things with length zero weapons, like everything's going to get a repel check on you. So just plan accordingly. Okay. 
Good, good there. All right, and we, and we got the monkeys. Look at that. Okay, stay behind troops right away. All right, so... That, that is a little tempting. I won't lie. We could have the monkeys take the cav charge. If we did that, I'd immediately start building a second fort. We kind of have the money for it. We're ridiculously far behind, so... Oh, okay, I'm going to think about that while I read chat. We, we might do that. We might, we might go for Port Strong. Monkeys and lizards together strong? Marrow apology form. <laughs> do I have to make my first YouTube apology video? Man, I, I, I barely got started and I'm already having to do that, huh? That will despawn the mouse. Yes, it will, unfortunately. He was on Stay Behind, but he was just too brave. You know, he was like, this is for my people. We, we will remember his sacrifice. We will remember that. Marrow MVP. If only we could have renamed him. The wet ones have a beautiful swimming pose. Yes, they, yeah, they, they actually do. I like that they actually have a different sprite. Like, they're actually swimming. It's kind of... I think all the wet ones do, actually. All the amphibious ones. There's a couple different sprites for Agartha that get those. All right, again, we have um, Misfortune, so I'm going to go straight to 11 for anything we do take, because we're probably going to have horrific events happening. 40 and 70. These guys are better troops. They have a Kraken. I think we'll try those. So we'll just take our little pond here. So we'll need a leader, and I think... Well, these are both pretty garbo, frankly. I think we'll take the Atlantean Militia, because at least they have the spear. Yeah. Just in case we need the reinforcements there. Okay, that's both mercs. We've got three turns on that. Let's go ahead and build Temple. We have one here. We'll drop our defense. All right, now we did lose our marrows, so now we're looking a little thin here. And wow, I didn't have these leadership scripted. That's concerning. Okay, we definitely could take that. Bone Tribe is a no-go. That's just straight no, and that's too many people. Okay, so don't have a lot of choice here. Um, there is enough supply there for we don't know if there's enough supply there for us. Hopefully, we don't have that many people. Okay, I'm going I'm to keep putting off that decision for a minute more. What do we have in our capital? I think I'm going to go for our new prophet, and I think I'm going to go lizard. Well, maybe we go Saromancer. And we get one of these guys, and we prophetize him just to get rid of his upkeep. Or maybe we go for the Holy Four. Fanaticism is really good for us with those slave troops. Yeah, let's go for the Holy Four. We don't get to do that very often. And we're building up a front line here. And I was using actual heavy troops. Sometimes I use city guards. Um, yeah, it sucks to not have the helmet, but... For five resources for a helmet, you can get a lot more city guard. All right, we're doing it. Let's just redo this whole thing here. All right, you guys are taking the cav charge. We're going to hold an attack cav. You guys are going to take over the middle when these guys inevitably retreat. Closest, and I think, I think we go for trampling the cav. I think that's the play here. If we kill the cavalry, we win. I'm pretty certain about that. We have Frighten, so hopefully maybe we hit some mounts with Frighten and they run away. Or we decay the, the rider.
I think we can do it. I believe. Okay. Got our defense in there. We checked Mercs. What are we doing to research? Slow. Very slow. Very slow. I'm kind of thinking we're going to have to go construction five for the research boosters. And we're going to have to build some school mentors. We're just so far behind. I'm kind of playing from a disadvantage here. So I'm playing not to lose rather than to win at the moment. Our one saving grace, though, there's one enemy candle here. We don't see any on this side. We don't see any up here. We don't see any over here, so I think we kind of lucked out and we just landed in a spot without too many close neighbors. Because if we had had somebody like here, we would be in big trouble. Like, really big trouble. Take the Shamblers, they suck way less. I don't know, man. The length three spear underwater is super important. Like you saw what just happened to us. These are the same these are the same thing. They're both wielding length three spears. They're just gonna kill the shambler straight up. And for the cost of one shambler, I can get three militia. I think three militia do better than one shambler. I'm almost certain he does. If these weren't length three weapons, you'd be right. But they're just gonna repel us to death. Uh, your deity character? No, he is this guy. Geek. Netter of the moon. He's like an Egyptian titan chassis. Uh, we grabbed him. He has inspiring researcher and fortune teller. So negates some of the misfortune in our capital and boosts our other researchers. So our lizardmen researchers are a 12. Normally they would be a 9. Because we're getting 2 from him and 1 from our magic scale. So... Going from 9 to 12 makes those guys a much more efficient researcher. Okay, let's roll that. Oh, did that uh, wet one actually have uh, experience? Is that why he was at 100? I didn't notice that. You are correct, yeah. Baratos is out there, yep, yep. Name the Lizard King Zuckerberg. <laughs> hey, if he watches stream, he can get a prophet named after him. Till he shows up, he gets nothing. Just all of our data. Okay, I'm not liking that you're up here. Why are you up here? This is not staying behind troops. This is going out front to get a heavy lance to the face. Yeah, like that. that that's exactly what you don't want to do. What is with these incredibly brave mercenary leaders all of a sudden? What world am I in? Okay, getting some tramples. Not, not going to be the best trample damage because these are size 6 and the horses should be size 5. So we're not going to do tons of damage, but we'll shove them around, break them out of formation, get them surrounded hopefully. Yeah, it was all right. Mercados are running, but I mean, we basically expected that. Hey, you guys are about to have a really bad day when this uh, chariot line hits you. You are not size five horses. God, these chariots are so good. And the fact that the lizard that pulls the chariot has an attack means that they're actually relatively killy chariots too because a falchion for 20 damage and a bite for 16 that's actually really accurate it's just really good chariots yeah there was there was him biting somebody right there there's a bite right there lost one chariot yeah yeah that was not too bad we should clean up pretty easily here in the back Yep, just get out of here. Cool beans. Alright, next. 
Wet ones versus what were you? Amber guard? No, Triton guard. I feel like this is our victory. This is definitely our our battle to lose. We've got these um, shark skin armored guys. I quite like this troop for Agartha too. Ten protection underwater is pretty solid, actually. Yeah, these guys have zero, but a little shield. I think we just straight up win this one. They do have the poison, though. So that is that is something to their advantage. Yep. Get out of here. Alright. And I think this is another easy fight. Although this army is kind of reaching the end of its rope. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I didn't know those were here. Luckily, Elite Warriors should stonk on those. Ten protection will not save you from a trident. Although, do your mounts have... Yeah, pierce resistant. I believe tridents are piercing. Yeah. So they, they do have that. Yeah, okay. We did, we did good enough. We didn't lose too much to those. Yeah, matter of time till we chew through these. He won't be able to summon enough to keep us back. Although that was not a bad one when he switched over to raise dead. These these predator lizards, man, these are just they're a good chassis. The unarmored ones are perfectly fine too if you're in a situation where resources are your constraining factor. All right, so what are we in? Turn 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. What do you guys think? Was that a redemption? It is turn 13, so it's not turn 12. And we've got, I already lost it in my head. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What do you think, chat? Redemption? I feel like that's a redemption. We have a... Palisade up in two. We have an extra temple. I'm feeling confident enough that I'm going to drop a lab, I think. We found Baratos so that they can sail us. All's right with the world. Get that dropped. I think we'll probably start another fort over there. If not this turn, then very soon. Okay, what do we have? 50 bear tribe warriors, and we have... I feel like we could probably do that. These guys are just so dang killy. I, th I think I'm going to chance that. This will probably be the end of this expansion party, though. And I wouldn't want a fort here. Oh, but we did find a scout. Sweet. Oh, thank goodness we found a scout. You can't forget to build scouts if you can't build scouts. Think about that, builders. Oh, and there's Ermor. All right, so we have Baratos, Ermor, and we don't know who's in the west, or I guess here either. Recruit anything of interest here? Not really. Back at the home front, we have one more turn on the Lizard King. We'll grab those guys. Actually, no, maybe we won't. Oh, we're just we're just shy of being able to start the fort here. Okay, we'll we'll recruit the guy who can build the fort next turn. What do we have here, actually? Do not have leadership. Whoa. And what is that guy? A farmer and his goats have appeared at your gates. Domar the peasant has joined. Ten goats have joined. Well, there you go. It's Domar. What's up, man? Got a pitchfork? An annoyed human peasant armed with a farming implement. Uh, this... this this is just too on theme for this stream, man. This is... 
This is happening. Let's check out our goats. All right, goat chassis review. Let's let's check it out. Okay, six HP, so about half a human, give or take. That's not too good. Six strength, so he's gonna struggle to do damage. Eight attack is actually militia level, so that's acceptable. I mean, you're not gonna be a frontline fighter, but maybe we could flank with him or something. Two protection, so he's got a little bit of natural protection. And it is on his body and head, so he has a, a little bit of natural protection against arrows. Now, five magic resist because he's an animal is going to hurt. So there's just no way around that. And nine morale is not the worst thing ever. We, we've had things that are worse. Combat speed 12, so he's about human speed. Good map move. Four encumbrance is actually pretty high for a completely unarmored unit. That's a little surprising. And he is age zero, so you're not going to have to worry about old age on your goat chassis. So we'll just uh, awaken these guys. <laughs> that, is, that is too funny. All right. We are going to need leadership here, so we can't move out next turn anyways. So for recruiting, I do think, I think we're going to need some of these. We have enough for a front line. Yeah, I think we do that. And then next turn, we'll have plenty of money to start this fort. So we don't need to hang out here. Our wet ones are up for bid. We are going to rehire them. Or at least attempt to. We would like to take this before we lose them. And in fact, I think we will try to do that with these guys supporting. We'll put them on an attack rear and see if we can just be smarmy. You guys go in there. You guys go in there. All right. I'm definitely not just going to straight up attack here. Uh, Jaguar Slingers. We definitely could do that, but I don't know. We'd be kind of cut off. Actually, we can't do that because our monkeys can't swim, so we can't travel there. So we'd be going here. Deer Tribe. Yeah, we totally can stomp that. That's fine. I don't want to send any peace treaties out yet because we're not really done with expansion and we don't really know what our throne count's going to be. Like we have one, two in range, three and four, or maybe four over here. So I don't really want to cut us off from expansion directions yet. All right, Domar, you're in charge of uh, security in the capital for now until I find out what I'm going to do with you. So you and your goats keep an eye out for things. Okay, we're, maybe maybe we, we farm the goats to feed to our giant snakes. Like, these guys got to eat, right? Maybe that's what's going on here. Okay. Double check that. Baby goats are super cheap, cute. Yes, they are. They're like chibi goats. Like, literally chibi goats. <laughs> They're big heads and everything. Can you sell the goats? No, you can't. You can't sell units or disband units. Um, when you commit yourself to the cause of a pretender god, you are in for life. There is no release except death or victory. <laughs> Watch them have a obscene magic pass. They probably would. Goat guard of Satis. <laughs> The goat-headed god. It's a lesser Satissian god. All right, I'm going to roll that turn. All right, one unit who lost their mount deserted. That's too bad. Those are pretty pricey. All right, do we win our underwater fight? Let's find out. Oh, I had some sea trolls. We knew about the kraken. Those are a little worrisome. They have enough regen with 20% that sometimes they're hard to kill. You just don't have the attacky power. And unfortunately, our militia are what's going to collide into them. So that's not the best matchup. And we, we do not get a Euro beat S curve around them fully. Although we didn't get fully stuck either. Okay, the Kraken is in combat. 
We're doing all right, although our, our left flank got wrapped, which is a little concerning. Water elemental's out on the field. I don't like that. Okay, he's out of gyms and retreating. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can lose this. Yeah, there it goes. All right, good, good. Very happy with that. Even if that's the last thing that group does, I'm, I'm happy enough to pay for that just to have my leg. All right, with this group... Okay, why are you raising skeletons? Are you out of range for decay? I don't like that, because he's already going to be at, like, a bunch of fatigue. Yeah, he's at 55 fatigue already. That's a little annoying. All right, hopefully we get the chariots in, they get stuck behind our melee line. That wasn't really a good connection there. Okay, good. As long as we make that connection, we should be pretty, pretty good. Chariots will stomp through these pretty effectively. The funniest event for this is getting the shrimp troops in the lake. <laughs> it would probably happen in that lake above us with just a single province. So there's like literally nothing you can do with them. Mac says, finally catching a stream. Love your pregame videos. Thank you, Mac. I'm glad to have you here, man. Appreciate that you like those. Um, yeah, I, I, ironically enough, so just a little behind the curtain here, between practicing, learning, researching, practice games, making the video, and the stream, it's about 20 to 40 hours a week to put on those two productions. So I, I appreciate that people are enjoying those. It makes the effort really worth it. Thank you. All right, good, good win there. All right, and what was this one? Oh, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna be okay here unless there's a super surprise. Yeah, we should be fine on this. These slave warriors, man, they just good, yeah. Two attacks and having one of them that's strong enough to basically guarantee a human kill just makes these lightly armored troops just snacks for us. Kirin scooping up all the mercs. Yep, yep. The, I have got to check out. I have got to check out their economy because they really do seem more than other AIs to be able to afford mercs. I don't understand why. I assume they must have increased income in caves. If, I don't know if anyone wants to, to confirm that, but that, that's my suspicion. That's okay, though. They did what we needed them to do. So very happy with their service. We didn't throw a ton of gold at them, so not surprised they had other things to do. I am a little concerned how close Baratos is. I have a feeling at some point they will sail onto our capital. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, Atlantean and Militia are never going to kill Furbogs, even if they were Furbog Militia. Deer Tribe, maybe. Maybe. I think we're just going to bring these guys up to land and they can reinforce something. All right, we got our first scout. Thank goodness. Oh, and there's uh, Mespelheim. Okay, so that's one of our neighbors. I, man, I'd really like to take this territory. Maybe we combine our armies here. We didn't bounce, did we? Yeah, okay. We've already got a fort here and everything. I wonder if they're forting that up. They have a, a temple here, if I misspoke there. They're probably forting that. All right. You guys head here. I think we're, we are going to try to combine what we do have. We're starting to get a little thin. All right, up here, you are going to build us a palisade. I do think I'm going to immediately send a shaman up there to infrastructure. Down here, you can search. We also need to get our searching started, like really badly. Maybe we will grab our leadership that we need, and then next turn we'll start a Sorrowmancer and a Shaman, and then they can go out searching when those two are done. All right. Uh, 
Iggy Giggy. You are not actually named Iggy Giggy. Um, let's see. Anyone else who's been around for a couple streams that hasn't got one? Uh, Vant. Look, Vant, you are in, man. Um, I hope you do bear, better than uh, Merrily Fish. Um, rest his soul. Rest his soul. He, he couldn't beat the Euro beat. Nope, nobody can beat the Euro beat. Become Prophet. We're training our... Okay, so we still need some more Holy Twos. We're going to want to get those up in every temple. Can't do that until we get the Palisades up, though. Shaman's moving out. We've got a decent amount of death built up. We could do some more Long Dead Summoning. Population here is not great. I'd really like to take this. It's cold, though. I think we do have to combine no matter what, and then we'll just have to do some backtracking. I don't think these this army can do anything. And this army's starting to get a little thin. We're out of monkeys. In fact, you can lead from the front from now on since we don't have any. Merc-wise... I, I hope Perrine hires him. Good good luck to them. Alright. For our scout. I kinda wanna ping the throne and see what we're actually dealing with. We might we might just take the throne early. Let's do that. Let's ping that and see what see what is actually there. I'm not too worried if we did lose that scout. Yeah, let's one more. Yeah, I'm totally okay if that expires. Did I get recruitment? No, I didn't. Good thing I checked. Okay, we're going to need you guys. I'm kind of thinking if we're going to go for the throne, we're going to want chariots. So let's start in on some more chariots. Because nothing here screams I can kill a chariot. And we might just be able to roll over this super easy. And if we roll over this one super easy, this is very doable. Long deads will just completely melt to our profit. Wervins are pretty scary, but they probably don't have too many. A huge ice drake, that, that would actually be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's the plan. Uh Ert Ertnider says, just check, they get extra income in caves, and they have cheap forts and labs. Okay, so that's probably what's doing it. Name him Cuckoo Gaga. <laughs> well, you're making fun of, of classic lizard man names? Like Iggy? It's classic. He's named after his grandfather. Alright, we searched for sites. Did not find anything. We did get the first step of our fortification. We're going to immediately grab a Holy Two so we can start Temple Training, and we still have Expansion to do, so I think we're going to grab Elite Slave Warriors. Well, we have a lot of recruitment points. Falchioneers would be a step up, but I don't think we can do the resources. I think we will just stick to them for now. Okay, and oh, we already have a holy two here. Never mind, not that. Then we will get some leadership started. I'm gonna have him. I think we're gonna preach for a turn or two just to get our dominion up to where it can go, and then he'll switch over, and we'll have you construct the fortress. All right, this should be a victory. I can't, I can't believe that we would lose this. Look, look at that drift there again. What is up with that? It's like they're scripted to attack these. What is letting them be able to do that? These are just infantry. They're not archers, they're not cavalry, they're not huge monsters. 
That is super sus, though. Like, somehow their script is telling them to attack those. That is super sus. I'm gonna have to do some research and see if anyone else has talked about that, because that is... I've never seen that before. If they were Cav or something, I would totally believe it, that, like, they're on attack Cav, so they, they kind of go to the side to get there. But I don't know what scripting you could use to do that. Maybe I need to do a uh, pregame for indies. All right, this should be the throne. All right, what do you guys got? Garbage, basically. I'm not worried about any of those. I'm not really worried about these guys. Nope. So it's all about the mages. Fire one, air one, astral one. I'm not worried about him. Fire four. Okay, we got a Rex here. So we're going to get falling fired. That's going to hurt a lot. Probably some fire elementals. And then... This guy can't really do much. Not really do much. Okay. This is very doable. We're definitely going to need like 15 to 20 chariots though. Because he's going to drop falling fires on us while we're doing it. All right. Unexpected event. The sea is being polluted by the crowding settlements. Death plus one. Huh. Never seen that event before. Okay. It's a, a thing that happened, I suppose. All right. So I think we'll do one more turn of recruitment and then we'll try the throne. Spread out our snakes. Uh, if anyone didn't catch the pregame, these are the free spawn we get by summoning in our temples. They are sacred, so in theory you could bless them. I don't find the EA ones worth doing that to. But they do have standard, so they're just an extra morale boost for our troops. So I like to just smatter them out. Alright, we actually can preach here, because our dominion is still not up to five for some reason. We need more chariots, and we're going to start a Sorrowmancer, we said. Okay, another round of chariots. Building our palisade. He's on the way. We bounced in a pretty good direction, so we can go check out... Actually, let's go underground quick. And this guy can check out this other throne. We'll get eyes on what that ice drake looks like. All right, you guys um, patrol or search if you can. Yeah, if we could take this, that would be pretty nice. That would help our capital out a lot. This place has 49 resources, pretty bad income, but just the resources would be really good. All right, we're preaching for a couple turns, we're building the fortress. Building the fortress and bringing infrastructure building. Got a little bit of magic here that could go to the throne fight. No way that we're going to have enchantment 5 before then. You can patrol for a second, you can patrol for a second. Let's see what people are saying here. Merrily Fish, you're probably already gone, but have a good night, man. I think those cav are just on attack rear deployed center, which makes them try to go to the edge, causing the drift effect. That's generally not been my experience. My experience with attack rear has been they go absolutely straight forward. So like if you use that on chariots and you deploy them in the middle, they should try to go straight down the middle. Because if what you're saying is true, they should try to go to the outside first, and that's not what I generally have seen. If I have them on attack rear, they go straight down the middle. I now I could be wrong. I haven't I haven't fiddled with that too much, so I'll have to check it. But 
guys fire for yeah it's like uber rex we're definitely gonna get falling fired there the ge the goats will tank the fire <laughs> the goats will save us how do the late middle age and late age get better um i find that they're better in middle age just because of your other troops they're not as easily targetable you have other things that are big hp sponges so spells and uh, archers don't target them as much and in late age, they're actually like mummy snakes. And because you can bless those, you can put something like blood vengeance on them. And then when people try to banish your undead hordes, they hit those on accident and kill themselves. So they're kind of like booby traps. Crimson Pirate, welcome in, man. Um, it's going okay, but we are we are struggle bussing tonight. We we had a um, turn four, we got our first province. That's how good our expansion was, so <laughs> that happened. Goat sacrifice for the throne. I don't know if I want to throw the goats away yet, guys. I don't know if I want to throw those away yet. I feel like the, I feel like the goats have to make it to the end. Like Domar is gonna be the next pretender god. We'll see. We'll see. I wish he had uh, Sumner. I wish he was summoning more goats. But for now, he protects the swamps of Satis, the hero we need, but maybe not the one we deserve. Okay, yeah, we're going to do one more throne, or one more uh, turn of recruitment, then we'll try the throne. We do have some good mercs here. I think I will bid on them pretty heavily. I would love these guys to join our throne fight. And let's roll that through here. Found a magic site, good to hear. All right, and some death income, perfect. Man, we really gotta get our site searching started too. We're so far behind on this game. All right, there was a battle. This should be us pinging the other throne. All right, what do we got? Okay, that was a lot of drakes. <laughs> Or a lot of werevins taken off there. Uh, it's really hard to see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, so that's like 20, 25 of those. The long dead don't matter. The barbarians don't really matter. The ice drake is going to do the ice breath like we were doing with the uh, fire drakes last week. So that will be pretty painful, but there's only one of them. Horse archers don't matter. What do we got for wizards? Two, one, nineteen, one, two. You know, this is kind of sort of looking like a magic duel. We could grab a bunch of shaman and try to just magic duel these guys to death. Four of them. So if we brought like eight to 12 shaman, just wipe that out. Maybe, maybe. Those werevins would be big troubles, though. That's going to be a little difficult. We'll definitely have to script for that. All right, and Ermor is basically establishing our western border, which I'm actually kind of okay with because that means they'll probably get into conflict with the fire giants, hopefully. So that leaves us to fight Baratos. Don't know how I feel about that matchup. They have better troops than we do, but... We should be able to drown them in Long Dead. All right, let's get this. All right, I think I am going to send in our magic support. We're sending our prophet. All of you guys. Oh, the chariots can't cross the river. Okay. Change of plans then. You guys are going to have to go here. I assume that you guys can cross. Yeah, so preach for a turn. Uh, research or preach. We're just going to have to chill for one turn. I do really want those chariots for that fight, so 
we're just gonna have to do that. We did not win the Mercs. Ermor did. We could try to get wet ones back. I wouldn't mind that. We could take the other lake. We'll make a play on it. Okay, Palisade going up. Temple going up. All right, he can go back to researching because he can build our fort. Keep that uh, recruitment going. The Wervens killed our scout, unfortunately, but that's all right. We'll go check out that throne. We do have a couple spots that looks like that have archers. Archers aren't terrible for us because we don't have any natively. There's the other one. Um, the problem with archers is if we add those to our army, we can't swim anymore. So we're limiting our mobility if we do that. That being said, having some archers is not bad. We got a lot of money right now. Maybe we do... Oh, this is a pretty good province for it, too. Yeah, let's let's just build up a little force. A little force of archers. Just for a surprise for a fight or two. Alright, and over here, just big chill for one more turn. You guys can cross, so you can patrol. Dinosaurs love goats. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I watched the same documentary you did. Uh, Tim says, I think the cab must be on attack rear because there's no other explanation. Might be something to do with how many HP are concentrated there, too. Definitely odd. It could, it could be the HP, but I've never heard of melee attackers doing that. Like, that's a spell AI thing, I thought, or archer AI thing. That's weird. And we did see it twice, so, like, it wasn't just a one-off fluke. So there's something there that I'm not understanding. Domar is actually the half-human son of Beak. He's a demigod. Oh, interesting. We're, we're getting the Domar lore. They're also... Nat Baratos. I do, but I was just going to have him preach the Dominion up first. Uh, we do have a little bit of enemy candles here, and I just want to get this up. Since he can go up pretty high on that. And I'm not, I'm not feeling like our Dominion is doing super great, especially considering we have a, a white god, so... Just just giving that a little boost before he switches over. And then up here, we can't get the Holy Two until the a fort goes up. Don't forget to train Katas. Yeah, let's look at that. They're definitely going to be worth doing. We could get one per turn. Sure, why not? It'll get better once we have the fort up. We also really need to get this province. I kind of want this throne, and I think the remainder of, assuming we win and we're not too wounded, we'll try to go out and get at least this. And that gives us access to one more throne. And then we just have to come up with our fourth throne for victory. Yeah. It's probably that one. Because I don't, or maybe we could go through the fire giants. We'll see. This is kind of odd. Like, Ermor and the Fire Giants are, like, really intertwined here. So I don't know who started where. Hopefully our scout will be able to find that for us. We double-check the mercs. Yep. Got archers coming. We got some katas coming. Oh, here we go. So, Sorrowmancer's second turn. Um, more chariots aren't going to help because they're going to have to run too far. I think we just grabbed some serpent ones. Uh, they can bodyguard some of our mages that are going out. And I think we start in some more heavy infantry. 
just to start building another expansion for us. We are finally up to five here, so that's good. <laughs> Gift of reason the goats and have them be a prophet. <laughs> Okay, let's get this throne battle set up. Got a lot of dudes here that are going to join us. Okay, Atlanteans, I literally don't care about you guys. So you guys get to go out front. And you can just, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Sorrowmancers are going to... Throwing a random decay, the odds of us actually hitting something of importance is like zero. So I think we're just going to pass out on skeletons. And unfortunately, this isn't the good skeleton spell, so we're not going to get that many. But, you know, free bodies is free bodies. Alright, with what you have left, that is sure not a lot. Why don't you go here, guard him, hold the tag closest... Oh, you guys are going to do, like, nothing. Sure, just chill in the middle. All right, you guys are next up for fodder. You are going to try to get... Hold on, I think we're going to have to do closest. As much as I like doing rear to try to snipe out the mages, there is a bulk of barbarians that does need to die before they, like, completely overrun us. That'll be our main line. You guys. Maybe these guys will make a run. We'll do hold and attack rear with them. They would be pretty good if they can make it. For you, we can cast Divine Blessing. We can cast Fanaticism. And then I don't care what you cast. Right in the middle. Okay, you guys hold an attack closest. Just to bulk up our center line some, I think. Hold an attack closest. All right, got our temple up here. Let's build a lab. We've got two turns on that one. And we've got one turn down here. Not the best resources, unfortunately. I think we're just going to leave Lizardmen Shaman on for a little bit. Our research is really bad. <laughs> oh, really bad. So... Catching up with that would be pretty helpful. Pyrene's over here, too. But this is quite the rumble over here. No wonder everyone's just leaving us alone for the time being. And we need to get somebody into Baratos, like, ASAP. So I think this guy's going to head that way. Domar twice born. <laughs> Empower Domar in death. <laughs> Is there a spell that summons goats? I don't think there's one that specifically summons them. Um, there might be some random animal ones that might. Um, if you go with some of the giant nations, they have mufflon herders, which are, I guess they're more like giant sheep, I think, but kind of similar. They're really cool. The mufflon knights, I really like those. Man. I want to play Metcone too. <laughs> I got so many nations to play, guys. I always laugh when somebody says like, oh, when are you going to do this late age? I'm like, dude, I don't know when I'm going to finish early age. Hopefully, but hopefully I'll get to it by the time Dominion 7 comes out. All right, enchant done, but unfortunately that's only four and four does not. I mean, it is our twice born, so that's something. And we have Raised Dead, too. Raised Dead's all right. Solus just for chaff in battle. Okay. Here's our throne battle. Right. 
hopefully we see some big spells hit these guys. A large iron skin, flaming arrows. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything I'm particularly worried about. I love that they're wasting their ammo here. Okay. Chariots kind of sort of doing what I wanted, not really. This side did okay, that side didn't. We are going to have a chariot retreat back through us, unfortunately. Out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. He's going to trample. Oh. oh, that's painful. Okay, I actually did pretty good over here. Having the magic weapon on this guy, I think he probably did most of that. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, those were bear tribes. Seven points to the fire elemental. Okay, he hit it, but he did not do most of it. Yeah, not not bad. Definitely going to be losses there, but I think those are acceptable losses for a throne. Now, the question is, what is this throne? They had kind of a smattering of different mages here. Fire Throne, maybe? I don't think we saw any like, particular heat. I mean, as long as it's not the same garbage we always get, I really don't care what it is. Just please don't give me death or misfortune. Just, just not death or misfortune, please. Alright. Fort down here done. That should be max level. Yep. Very nice. Alright. A few more of these guys. Up. Very nice there. I'm always really nervous until I get two extra forts. If we get attacked by somebody, they could just sit on our capital and it's game over. But with two extra forts, we have a chance to actually recruit things and counterattack. Throne of Knowledge. That's actually pretty good. These guys are old, but that's a lot of research. Unfortunately, I'm not going to want to fort this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this guy's a really good site searcher. You move up here. You are going to build us a lab immediately. And then let's do some combining here. See what actually survived. Okay, you can go back to the capital. We actually didn't lose that much. I'm actually kind of surprised how well that went. I just want a few lizards, not all the lizards. I'm actually, if I combine, I could combine this group on him. Then this guy could go home and pick up more. So yeah, you could combine to there. You can head home. All the Atlanteans died. <laughs> this guy can build forts for us, though, so he still has some use. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to attack the fort. We could send out a pretty... I think we just send this out as a beefy army. 
And we just do some frontier co uh, conquering. What's that other slave master got? Two serpents. No, you don't. You also go home. In fact, actually, you two go up to that fort. And that way we can pick up troops there without having to recruit leadership. All right, that leaves you and you. You're building a lab, but you are going to stay. You are going to claim the throne. You guys, I guess, just patrol. You guys patrol. So Ascension Points, Dominion Spread, the Lore Master, and the Sage. Lore Masters could break us into other magic. Man, I wish this wasn't in our cap circle. We dropped a Palisade here. I feel like we'd be taking away too many resources from our cap. We're already kind of struggling with that. Yeah, I don't know. That seems really sketch to me. Oh, you know what? One of you guys could go pick up those archers. And our next scout. I'm so glad we found these scouts. I'm so glad we found those. All right, head down that way. Okay, I think we're gonna be building a new expansion party here to come up here and take this. So if we're doing that, we don't want chariots because the chariots can't cross this river. So we've got to keep that in mind when we're setting up our recruitment. No chariots for the next group that's leaving. Up here, you can search now. We're still only at one Dominion Candle down here. That's a little upsetting. I want to switch over, but I also need to make sure we get our Dominion out. All right, you come over here. We're going to build an extra temple. Let's see what people are saying here. Vant says, your nation picks have been great so far. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying them. It's it's kind of a tight rope walk. It's At the end of the day, I'm going to play what I'm interested in. I'm not going to make a video if I'm not interested. But I'm also open to feedback for what other people want. Like, we have some Mickland requests coming in that people like. I know some people are waiting for some free spawn nations. Like, maybe... Um... Oh, I just lost their name. Not Lemuria. Um, what's our early age ghost nation? Therados. So people have asked about Therados. Ermor's high on the list. So tons and tons of things that people are interested in. Uh, next week's going to be Lanka. I've already committed to that. But after that, I don't know what's coming next. I did I did see somebody released an EA Ermor. So if you're if you're biting at the bit for that, I don't remember who it was. I don't I don't think it was Zan. Somebody did an EA Ermor. So if you're interested in that, there's one there. Mithlin needs a W. Yes, they do. Those poor guys. Amusingly, at Alteration 3, your shamans could all animate trees to help. Yeah, yeah, they could. And that's actually a decent spell. Uh, seasons. I'm not sure what your question is there, Dark Shikor. Uh, we are in fall, if that's your question. So we're going to be heading into winter, unfortunately, here. Those mages could be mush after the chariot trample, hopefully. Throne of the Elements. Um, I don't think there's just a Throne of the Elements, but there is a Throne of Seasons. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what Dark was talking about. Even if you don't for it. Oh yeah, totally. We're we're definitely recruiting those. I'm building I'm building the lab right now because those guys for research will be super helpful. Like we that was a pretty good good find for that. 
couple temples to push back. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm kind of worried about this Dominion down here. I really would like it if we stayed in our heat, or at least not the cold, because it is very painful for us to fight out there. Flying Nation. Flying Nations are pretty cool, yeah. I, I'm i not a huge fan of Kalem, generally, unfortunately. I like Nazca a lot more, but yeah, those are those are pretty interesting. Pangea is cool, too, yeah. I love their free spawn, the uh, crazy ladies that claw you to death. Battle Mode. Yeah, that's right, Battle Mode. I haven't watched it yet. Like I said, I... This week has just been crazy for me. I have, I've basically worked, played a tiny bit of Dominions for trying to get ready for Lanka, and slept. That has been my entire week. Oh, it's about the throne. Yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Okay, yep, yeah, let's keep moving here. So one throne down, three to go. I do feel like the first three thrones are easily within reach, even if that one's a little hard. The fourth throne, though, is where it's going to get sticky. We found a magic site. Temple of Fraternity. Perfect, perfect. A little bit of nature income. I do think I agree with your alteration assessment, so I am going to queue up Alt 3. And I think I'm going to grab a little bit of Evo just so we have some. And I'm going to leave Construction 5 on. Um, we get the research items, we get the retinue items, and we get the, I think it's Amulet of the Dead, and that helps us summon in extra undead, and I would quite like that. If we're going to do any animation, just makes that spell way more efficient. All right, we got Port Strong up. We're looking very good on cash. How many more cataphracts can we get? A few more. A few more. Let's get a few shamans up here, and then we'll switch over to some death dudes. Okay. What happened over there? All right. Saw a battle. Let's see what's going on over here. Perrine attacking Mespelheim. Good. You'll love to see it. No fire giants present, though. I will say that my one complaint about this nation, they don't quite look like the sprites are exactly the same style. Like, the ogres really could use a sprite upgrade. Like, they look lower res than the other guys with the newer models. Maybe that's just me. When you have a game with, like, what are they up to? Like, 5,000 sprites? It's a little understandable that not every single sprite gets updated at the same time. Okay. We saw... Is this us getting sailed? <laughs> I think this was us getting sailed by one random dude. Okay. <laughs> I still think that it's BS that the AI can sail you I guess he is at war with me. I don't think that was the war declaration, though, because we didn't get the message. Yeah, but they can sail you without declaring, and it's like they'll have a piece of your territory that you can't take back without declaring on them. That's so sketch. All right, I think that's enough of those. Let's switch this one over. We'll get some front line built. A few turns of that. Now, he took that, which is unfortunate. So we're kind of cut off from that throne. Maybe we will end up fighting fire giants. Or alternatively, I mean, we could go for this throne. We got lots of options. But we still have plenty of room to expand, so I'm going to concentrate mainly on that. All right, and over here... I think we do lore masters for a while and see what we get for site searching. Okay. You, 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 and you. We're going to go out and try to do some more expansion. Okay. 
Hold and attack rear with the chariots. A little bit of undead summoning up front. This is a pretty decent army. Yeah. And then back here, you and you are going to be the team that is sight searching for me. Get going on that. We don't have any water searching, but I think I'll wait for a war master to do that. Building there, researching there. Okay, we need you to stop building him and build me a holy two. At home, we're gearing up to expand north. Okay, so we need some leadership, it looks like. 43 of those guys. Uh, let's get a few more of those. We'll do one more turn. Yeah, I really, really hope everyone teams up against these fire giants. I would quite like that if they would do that. That way, and let's actually change this. We'll have him sit on that throne. And then this guy will go sit on that throne. See if we can start getting eyes spread about. Oh, we already do have one here. Never mind. Go... That way. We'll go to that throne. Alright, this was the temple building shaman. Gotta get a couple more temples out. We're probably gonna have it get sailed at some point, but for now, that's fine. We do need to remember about War with Baratos too. So as soon as we make contact, we're gonna probably get into a good fight. They might be in conflict with Kalasa too. We, man, we really lucked out on our spawn. The fact that Kalasa didn't come this way immediately and Baratos didn't come this way immediately. We really got lucky for how bad our start was. No, you should have been going there. So we actually don't need leadership. We actually could get... Um, let's get another Holy Three. And that way we can have him go with the other army. Wake up, go to work, play some Dom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that that is basically my, my life for the last week, essentially. Can you nap Baratos? Uh, no, they're already at war with us. I didn't notice when they declared, but they did at some point. Um, they must have just ran. We did that. We didn't get the message when we got sailed. So we must have been at war before then. Which I'm okay with. Um, we do have another throne here, which we could go through them. And one here. So one, two, three, four could be our victory. Very doable. Maybe we should nap the fire giants. Although they're already pretty busy. I don't think they're just going to randomly declare on us. That'd be pretty dumb. But, yeah, it's not exactly the best at diplomacy either, so. Alright, did some more searching. Didn't find anything, unfortunately. Now, as for where we're going to go, Wastelands usually have a pretty good chance of getting sites. We could go here and then up that way. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'd like to fort this at some point. So maybe that means we try to fort here. It's got 10,000 pop. That's fine. All right, you come down this way. Army. Let's still get the border first. Seal off as much of that as we can. And Satis, we got troops to send out. Let's get a few bodyguards on our god. 
Just in case. All right. We're definitely going to need some more troops, though, before we send this army out. So we'll do a quick turn of these guys. So we'll have him, we'll have him, and we'll have a holy three that I probably get some more sacreds to. Just like having that magic weapon, just in case we run across something that needs magic weapons. Look at that. Got some cataphracts up here. That'll be a nice surprise for somebody. Hold an attack a rearmost. Hold an attack closest and in the line. Okay. Snag one of those guys too. All right, temples up here. I think we're gonna continue building a couple more spare temples. We are really struggling. We have a lot of caps that are really close to us on our eastern border. Ah, it's so nice actually having some scouts getting out, have some eyes on things instead of being completely blind everywhere. I wonder if Dom6 has the same issue as Total War with player bias. Um, I don't feel like it does. And Dom6 feels better that you don't just end up at war with every single nation by virtue of existing. And I don't think that was really player bias. I think the AI just had no concept of non-aggression. Like, apparently there was a way, like... If you were at war, but then you didn't attack each other for 10 turns, the AI would, like, quote-unquote, consider you at peace. But, yeah, it, it didn't really. So, this is much better. This feels good. The naps work well enough with the AI. I'm, I'm happy enough with it. I mean, I've played a couple hundred hours of Dom 6. I'm not bored yet. I've only done AI games. I haven't done any multiplayer yet. So, it says something, I suppose. This is actually a lot more than I thought was going to be here. These wounded chariots. Oh, jeez, yes. <laughs> Definitely a win, matter of how much attrition we take. Oh, we made we made it all the way to the back with chariots. Squish. <laughs> Alright, all of our flankers made it actually. That's pretty impressive. Probably had more attrition than we'd like, though. Yeah, wow, 17. Wheat Warriors, yeah. Not having the helmet, they're probably getting head hit. Alright, eh, not the end of the world. Did what we needed. Alright, next we're going to take that. Yeah, because Wervins. Wervins. What would we do? Chariots in the back, hold and attack flyers. I feel like we would just de get deleted. We need we need magic for this throne. We're not going to be able to skimp and do that on the cheap. I think we're just asking to get stack wiped if we did that. All right, let's get some more eyes out that way. Keep searching for sites here. This is our temple builder. Temple builder, that's like my cousin. I build I build Tower of Babel who who builds the temples. Okay, we can start oh, no, no. we can start training monsters in temple. Did we ever get those candles? Yes we did. Shoot. Start training monsters. 
Yeah, I'm, right, I'm feeling much more secure over here. Like a miss. For Dominion, at least. Would really like to get this surrounding territory. So hopefully this army can kind of swoop through here and grab at least that. By the time we get here, maybe we attack Baratos. That's several turns out. Up here, we're working on another army. So this could be the northern army, so we could flank in from both sides. I think we're still... well... I think we can go with what we have here. I'm going to look at this. All right, so we would basically have one big center line in grindy combat, essentially. And I would probably split this into two. We just flank both sides. Oops. That feels okay to me. Tech closest. I don't think we try anything sneaky sneaky. I think we just go for grinding combat. And then he can bless everybody and then start throwing a couple sermons. That'll keep the line solid. Stay behind troops, stay behind troops. I'd love to have some mages to go with this. Even just a couple skelly spammers really makes your expansion parties better. But I don't I don't think we wait. I think we gotta get going. Up here, I think we're going to Reborn. No more Shamans. I think the same thing down here. No more Shamans. We gotta be Reborn. We gotta go to our Combat Mage. Hold attack closest. Set up our line. Split. Oh, missed that one by quite a bit. Each side. Oh, he came here to get the archer. Shoot, that's what that guy was doing here. All right, you go over there and you move the archers around quick because we're not going to get here to for a turn or two anyways. Searching. I really hope we find some good sites here. Some astral income would be very nice um, or just more death, frankly. We're going to spend a lot of death on research items, I have a feeling. Because we're just, we're just dinking along here. Especially considering, thank goodness I took an awake researcher. I mean, imagine where we'd be at if we didn't have him. Yep, yep, I, I saved the shambler. I probably should look at chat before I intern. <laughs> you guys often catch things that I'm forgetting here. Uh, uh, Zexeries, we did we did have the prophet dissipate, and we have a prophet here. Uh, Vant is our second prophet of the evening. He's a holy four because of that. Yeah, poor poor Merrily Fish made it literally turn two, and died to Euro beat. It was it's not a pretty way to go, guys. I don't suggest it. Kids think it's fun, but yeah. All right. This should definitely be a victory, as it's been the last few turns. It's just a matter of how much attrition do we take for the victory. Ooh. Ooh. That was gross. One more leader here. He keeps getting bounced around. There it goes. All right. Okay. I would love to have Horde of Skeletons in front of our troops when we fight areas like that. Let the Barbarians just kill Skeletons for a couple rounds. Tire themselves out. Naked people have been seen dancing and singing in the woods. This is an ill omen. Hmm. Is it about to begin? <laughs> is it that time already? 
All right, he built our temple here. We're going to go for one there. Look at me, I'm the AI now, just building temples literally everywhere. All right, next. Let's head that way. 170 units, mainly Amazons, Pegasus Riders, and Heavy Infantry. Point, and Ermor's right here. Wow, we really lucked out on the directions the AI expanded. Like, we really lucked out. We could have been so screwed. All right. Ooh, Flesh Garden of Mortal Remains. Two death and a nature. I bet you this is a death three site. And some earth and some astral. Beautiful. That's pretty much what we were hoping for. Income's starting to look a lot more healthy. Okay, Shambler was going to pick up our archers. <laughs> Apparently one Atlantean. Give me a bodyguard. There you go. All right, we'll drop those off here. Okay, nothing particularly of interest in either of those. I'm starting to really feel like we should make a nap, though. Like, we need to kind of pick our enemies. So I'm assuming we will get this thrown. So one, two. Where do we go from there? We could go into fire giants, but this is a pretty nasty throne. It's got Inkadoos and an Anarchy of the Sky. That, that's going to be a nasty one. We could go into Ermor. And again, nasty throne. This one over here, Long Dead Militia Heavy Infantry Cave Drakes. A few Werven. Okay, so this is very doable. That's very doable. And then next turn we can see what this one is. So I'm kind of feeling the Eastward expansion. We're already at war with Baratos. And it looks like they're at war with Kalasa. So maybe we go into them first and then we attack Kalasa. What is with Ermor and just being so reasonable and rational and and nappable? Good thing you didn't restart. I I usually am the type like one of my good friends our, our little like uh, phrase that we would say back in the day when we were playing hard co op games is bring on the pain. Because that's when you get your best stories. Like, uh, playing with him, one of my absolute, like, distinct gaming memories. Uh, for Civilization, Civ, what was it, 4? That had the uh, mod Fall from Heaven. We played that, and then the mod mod uh, Fall Further. And I was ironically playing the Lizardman. And he was playing... I think the people who had Pyre Zombies... I can't remember what their race was. No, no, that that was the enemy. Whatever it was, we were playing co-op, and some one of the AIs summoned hell, and the whole world started getting corrupted, and it was basically like, okay, we lost. But for whatever reason, we decided, you know what, no. We're going to play until we lose. And for like 100 hours, we slowly pushed back the hell terrain and retook the entire map until... The entire game just crashed. Like, I think we ran out of RAM. And, like, we could not resurrect our save. It just wouldn't come back. But it's such a distinct memory of mine. Like, we were going to quit. And then we're like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go until the AI kills us. And we just ground them down. Like, we beat hell back into the depths it came from. And that just... It's such a memory to me. And we would have never had that if we just re-rolled the map and played until we beat the AI on easy or whatever. So, especially when you're playing with friends, I think adversity and overcoming like setbacks makes for much more memorable games than the games that you win easy. 
you, you're not going to remember those beyond, oh yeah, that was really easy. So I'm very glad that, that this is going well. Like, conversely though, there is a point of no return. In the Earth stream, we had lost. It was just going to be another two hours of losing. There was no coming back from that. So there, there is a point when you should throw in the towel, I guess is the counter to that. Okay, hopefully we will get this expansion here, and then I don't know if we want to fort this like I was originally planning, because now I kind of want to fort this. I guess we can see what's there next turn, and then make a decision. And I think we're going to have the Cataphracts join this fight. So let's get that set up. Hold and attack rear, that will be quite nice. We'll see if we see some uh, drifto action here. Closest, closest. Yep. Okay, Kalem down here with the four cold scales. We, you know what? You know who we should nap? Caleb. Caleb with the four ice that we do not want to fight in. We should totally nap them. We're not sharing a border, so we're not probably going to get into fight with them anyways unless they did something stupid. Yeah, let's send a missive to Caleb. We have no conflict. Yeah, I know we have no conflict. What? I guess we have to share a border? Is that a thing? Am I crazy? Please, Caleb, don't fight me. We could fight Urmor together. Okay, I, I'm i going to have to research that. I don't know why I'm not allowed to send that. I guess because we don't share a border. Pure, pure conjecture there, though. All right, found the site. Yep, we checked that. We checked that. We checked our battle. And we finished the fort. Cool, cool. All right. From here, I think we grab another Holy Three quick. Spin those. Alright, if we were fighting Baratos, can we get there without swimming? Yes, okay, so we do want chariots. We'll get a few rounds of those. Man, we really did luck out with swimming and this river. Um, I think it was the Earth Stream. One, I think it was the second start, we had a really nasty river that was, like, cutting our capital weirdly. Definitely a benefit to having swimmers. Skelly bros stick together. <laughs> Tim says, I need sleep. I expect to see a twice-born goat. <laughs> you'll Tune in tomorrow and you'll have to find out. Eric Victory, perfect name for your comment, by the way. Saving a game from disaster is way more interesting than everything going according to plan. Yeah. Um, who is the um, Total War player that does the disaster battles? Legend. Legend of Total War does those. People send him in, like, losing campaigns, and he, like, tries to save them. And those are really interesting videos, if you like Total War. Because, again, it's like... When everything goes according to plan, yeah, it's, sometimes it's fun just to stop the computer, but this is where it's interesting, is when you're struggling a little bit. That's also where you learn new things. All right, speaking of learning new things, let's see how this battle goes in the cold. Okay. This is Bone Tribe. This is like the nastiest tribe, in my opinion. This Spetum is like a... I think it's a slightly better trident, essentially, because I think the attack's higher. Maybe not. Three, seven damage. I guess we can check. Light three. Two-handed weapon with piercing. Compared to... No, our trident is actually better. We get plus one defense for having a trident. So, this is like a B-tier trident, having the Oh, not you. Uh, Spetum. But those are just nasty. Good attack with high, high damage. And they berserk. So you have to kill them, essentially. No, no routing once you get stuck in. 
It states no contact. Oh, I read that as no conflict. Okay, that totally makes sense then. Yes, we have a ton of gold. Hopefully I'm going to turn that into infrastructure and mages. Like, we are so far behind on our mage recruiting, it's ridiculous. With skelly spammers, you really do want kind of target saturation. And it, it just comes off that bad start we had. I was hoping for a turn three or four fort, and I think we got a year two fort. <laughs> Okay, okay, I mean, it's all right. Not the best, not the worst. Lost 11, mostly elite warriors, totally acceptable. One of the things that really helps our gold, I think I called this out in the preview video, but if I didn't, the slave warriors of any variety, because they actually have the slave trait, they are super cheap. Six gold per year, and this is such a ridiculously good troop. Like, if this guy was 15 gold a year, I would I would still recruit him. So, so, so good. Normally, slave troops are pretty garbo. These are not that. Having two attacks that actually can hit and do damage, absolutely great. Absolutely. All right, in the north... Check out that heavy cav. Be great if they just circle around and just kill the leaders. Shrub check. Nope. Looks like we failed our morale check. If you don't know, I believe the mechanic has not changed since 5. When you try to attack rear, every time you pass an enemy group, your guys make a morale check. And if they fail it, they curve in to attack the closer target. So that's what happened there. I don't remember reading that that has changed. That's especially noticeable on flyers. If you're trying to fly and attack rear, getting some extra morale on that in five at least really helped. We're not chopping through these as quickly as I thought we would. I guess these are the armored variety. I also note that that guy had a disease. Are you guys sitting on a disease site, or is that just random? Hmm. Yeah, we've got him in circle now. Oof, man, imagine being these dudes getting encircled by cataphracts. That's gonna have a bad time. We know that feeling. <laughs> we know that feeling. Beak, Netter of the Moon, has foreseen a major event will occur in three weeks. The stars will be right for alterations. Uh, interesting, but I don't think we'll be able to do anything with that. We're not gonna have alteration in three turns. If we grab tier 1 alteration, we could distill gold, but we don't have any fire, so... Nope. <laughs> okay. Get our new scout set. I think, I think I'm pretty firmly sold on attacking Baratos. So I'm going to start saturating him with scouts. Doesn't look like he's had the best game, so he looks like a pretty good target. All right, what is our throne? Heavy infantry slingers, werevins. Man, what's with the werevins this game? And light calf. This is definitely a throne target. I'm almost tempted. This army plus some mages could probably take that. Our heavy calf can't get across the river though. So Heavy Cav comes here, picks up the chariots, and then comes up here and attacks that. That does make me feel like I want to fort that too, so I don't think I'm going to fort this one. Alright, so if that's the case, let's transfer troops over. 
you go pick up the heavy cab and the chariots, and we'll just kind of wait for you, essentially. Okay. You to get here. One turn, two turns. Okay. So we'll want to make sure we time it so our mages can get there. And from here, I don't believe that. I'm going to say that's actually three turns. Okay, getting him. We've already got a holy three up there, so this guy can go south. Let's get some more chariots. Maybe I should fort this. This will probably be our last throne. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Change of plans, buddy. Don't drop off those archers. Take them with you. Oh, but we are also going to fort down here. Yeah. Fort the closer one. In fact, actually, you can join here for the next battle. We can get some use out of our archers. Hold and fire archers if you can. Should we see here? Militia, light cav, heavy cav. Never mind. Actually, fire the cavalry. Okay. Don't think we're going to try to take this because I, I want to head this way. In fact, actually, this army could meet up over here and we could double up for the throne fight. That feels okay. Yeah, I, you know, I have to say, I think you were right, chat. I, I'm liking the Twin Lakes. I wish they were maybe even slightly bigger, or I wish we had a trio lake. Like if we had one more lake here. I think that's more interesting than that weird cross shape we get on the other map. Yeah. Pretty good so far, I would say. All right, you guys were searching. Boy, these, these guys have some nasty scales. Whose scales are these? Ermors. They took a bunch of drain, a bunch of misfortune, and some sloth? I don't know about that for Ermor. Ermor is, is definitely, I would say, a, a scale nation. They need their troops, which are pretty good, and they need some kind of magic to back that up. So I, I'm not digging those at all. Okay, and you were building temples. I like that we're not running out of money. I feel like that is at least something going right at the moment. Bernard's brave men, those would be pretty useful. We might even be able to expand into something with those, like right here. Let's put in a pretty heavy bid on those. We'll go like, I don't know, 600. It's so ridiculous. The AI throws so much money at these. Way more than most humans would. All right, we'll have enchant five in three turns. So we'll have that for our throne fight, I think. Well, in fact, I'll make sure we do. So we're definitely going to want as many Death 2 guys as we can, which unfortunately is not going to be very many. Yeah, we, we just really need more forts. We have the money, we just don't have the infrastructure to be able to build more. Alright, we got our first, uh, was he a sage? No, lore master. Ended up with Earth, Astral, and Glamour. Not the worst thing ever. We'll go ahead and search with this guy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to send him out search, site searching. I may research with him for a little bit. See what else we get. I'll just send out kind of the best searchers as a party. Last stands will always make us men blood, blood plumping. Yes, it does. <laughs> My, I really like the, uh, the last battle scene in Last Samurai. That like... The, the doomed last stand. That, that's what gets my blood pumping. <laughs> it's like, you know you're screwed anyways, but screw the other guy. We're going down fighting. Just checking up on chat here. 
<laughs> let's let's not get me canceled, bruh. <laughs> uh, during the river. Bear livers. <laughs> Would I be willing to? I, you know, I never tried random. Uh, frankly, by the time I play all 102 nations, who knows where we'll be. Um, yeah, I, I think it's cool enough. I just, I don't know. I don't know how much interest there would be in people watching it either, frankly. What kind of blessings did Ermor take? I don't know. We haven't seen an Ermor fight with blessings in it. We saw some, like, what did we see from them? Like, just some Garbo troops. Their sacred calf, I, I'm not sold on their sacred calf. I don't know. I'm going to have to test that. Because when I looked at them, if I remember right, they didn't have armor on the horse head. Or if they did, it was really, really light. And I was just like, eh. Yeah. Are you even going to survive to use recuperation if you don't have horse armor? Because I don't feel like you're going to. I feel like your horse is going to die. The legionary who is riding him will probably live, and then he'll go back to your capital to be recruited. It'll be exactly what happened to Helheim. Helheim was so disappointing with their cavalry. And it all came down to the horse was not armored. That, that seems to be a fatal flaw. And it, it's, it's really, really bad on light and medium inf uh, cavalry. Like, you just die. Like, on the lights, like, these guys are fine. Because their role isn't to be melee cav. But the second you try to be melee cav and you're not fully armoring your horse, it just dies. Like, it literally just dies. Yeah, this, this worked really well. I'm definitely noticing the group of unwounded and the group of wounded chariots. <laughs> Quite a disparity there. <laughs> oh, did they they broke our slaves? No, okay. They just turned around to kill something. Okay, that's, that actually scared me a little bit. We haven't I would like it noted. The only time we've had a break on these units with low morale was that ori original fight. Everything else they've done perfectly fine. Let's just check in on one of these guys. Morale 14. Taskmaster plus 2. Magic bonus plus 1. Friendly domain plus experience. Yeah. Very healthy. Very healthy morale there. <laughs> Horse armor DLC. Yeah, well. Don't. Please don't give them ideas. I don't know. It. Ill Winter does not strike me as the type of people who are interested in that. I think they're happy enough to make enough money that they can make their next game. Uh, that That's just my impression of, of them. It's what kind of irked me when Dominion 6 came out and people were clowning around. It's like, dude, like they didn't even raise the price. And we're going to get years of updates. We'll probably get three to five free nations. Um... We've had multiple streams where I've been so impressed with some tiny sounding under the hood change that totally reframes the game mechanics. Like, bravo to those guys. Great job on their work. Not to say that I don't have complaints. Like, I would like to see some of these really old sprites get updated with a little more haste. Like, just to keep the look uniform for, for a nation. And I wouldn't mind a little more iteration on balancing the different elemental paths for magic. I still feel, I feel like fire is way better than it was before, but I still feel like it could use a little bit more juice. And same thing with water, just a little bit more juice. Like bring it up to glamour's level. Glamour and, and air feel pretty good at the moment. I think death is too, but I haven't played enough death to say that. I mostly have used death to skelly spam or, you know, the Helheim stream. We haven't really played a major death nation. Alright, this is our army prepping for a throne fight. We should win this pretty handily. Look! Look at that! 
look at that Tokyo Drift right there. They are definitely doing something that they are after these guys. I'm I'm a hundred percent convinced. I would be super curious if somebody has the time to test that or if somebody watches this later and knows the answer to what scripting is causing that. I almost want to move these guys to the middle and see if it draws them into the middle. Because that is pretty blatant that they are like literally curving to try to get to those those elite warriors. I'm also shocked how bad our heavy cap did here. I don't understand what was going on there. Out of the way, heavy cav. Let my elite warriors show you how it's done. All right. Event. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. We take over the land and immediately most of the population dies. Great. All right. We got Bernard's men. I think with those, we're actually ready to rock. I think we head out. So you plus you. We could bring our shamans, but they don't really have anything to do. We could bring some reborn. Reborn would have things to do. I think we do. We could use this army. We'll, we'll meet up with these guys after a couple. And then we can get into Baratos right here. And maybe even make a throne play. Or this army can swing south and join that throne fight. So a couple different options there. All right, you guys attack here. No, here, and then we can take one of those. All right, Bernard, your men look really cool and I love that they have pikes. Why don't you show us how it's done out front? That'd be pretty cool. Hold the attack closest. Hold the attack closest. Actually, no. Back that up a little bit because we actually have skelly spammers. I thought I had that saved, but I guess I don't. Okay, what is going on there? All right. Thought. I had that saved. Control one. Okay, I, I guess we're just not not saving that one for some reason. Let's save that. Not using my mouse. Is my mouse having problems tonight? Hmm. Okay, whatever. I will have to investigate that later. All right, stay behind troops. And that should not be everybody. We need you to come up here too. All right, and you guys, you, you don't actually have to be fodder. You actually get to follow some skeletons in. So you will have a better time too. Hold an attack. I think actually we go rearmost because those pikes are going to hold that front line just fine. And then I delete your orders because that happened. Okay. Try this one more time. There we go. Maybe my control button's going out. Oh, that's worrisome. Okay. Next, next, next. You guys could just chill in the capital. Does not look like they're doing... Maybe we try to snipe Kalasa. They've got one army. It's not bad, but it's not good. Man, we have, we have a lot of opportunities on this side. I really want to get some... I really want to get some naps over here. I think, I think we nap Ermor. As much as I really want that thematic fight yet again, 
strategically, it just makes sense. Like, this is the throne they're protecting. If I need this throne, I can go through these guys. That's not even a good throne for us to try to take. For, that's going to be hard. Ormor is not in a position to win. But they are in a position to be super annoying because we have a wide open border with them. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm making the decision. We're gonna try to nap Ermor. I'm not gonna do the fire giants because it looks like they're in several wars and I may need to go through them. And Peering will probably backstab me. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I should nap them, but I'm worried that they're going to take this and we'll have to attack through them to get to a throne. I don't know. We need... I keep thinking I sent people underground, but I keep. I think I keep canceling their orders before they actually get underground. Like, I really want to see what's going on down there. Do we have any sight? Not really. Let's see their capital. Yeah. Go to their capital, please. All right, we found the farm of Pliny here, and then we head that way. Over here, didn't find anything new. All right, we need mages. I think we're going to start getting expensive mages in the capital. No, we're going to get a cav leader. And then we will get expensive mages in the capital. Alright, Holy Three. Don't have one for that army. So you start heading that way. You are a temple builder. I think that's probably safe enough for another temple. What are we up to? Six temples, so we've increased our dominion up one. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, for every five temples you have, your dominion strength goes up by one. So even if you start really low, if you can temple spam, you can get all the way up to ten. You don't have to start there. That is a little dangerous, though, if you start really low. And, of course, you start with low sacred points, so if that's important to you, you can't start too low. It also affects your dominion spread chance. I'm actually surprised how, how much our struggled. Because we started with our god out, so that's three checks. In theory, we've mostly had a profit, so that's four checks. Home province, five. We started with a temple, six. So we've been running with six plus checks for most of the game, and I don't know. Didn't spread too well, I would say. Okay, back here, you were coming for reinforcements. I don't feel like that's enough to even bother, so just chill here for a couple turns. Alright, and on this side... We have people who can't swim, so I couldn't do that. I should have taken those with me. Hmm. Okay, change of plans. You come back this way. Drop off the cataphracts. Yeah, I think we can take those without the cataphracts. Do that. We're going to get the chariot guy next turn. Don't give me phantom chariots. Only people who can come in this turn. We get him... We drive our chariot up to here, and then we attack. Yeah, and then that group... Man, I must be getting tired. Did we watch this fight? I don't remember. Yes, we did. Okay. You guys are going to head this way. So one turn, two turns, three turns. One turn, two turns. Next turn we have a chariot leader. He probably can get here. I think we can move through there. So 
one turn, two turns, three turns. That is our battle timing. We already checked our mages from here need two turns. So we can research. And if we were going to send mages from here, they would need to probably leave this turn. Maybe we send this holy three actually this way. And we'll just have an extra holy three for this fight. I think I like that. Research-wise, we are two turns out from enchantment. Okay, perfect timing on that. Let's roll it. Nature weak. I'm assuming you're talking about the path. Nature's good. Nature's really good. Uh, we are. We have to communion up to do nature things, and I just don't have any of the spells on this nation. Um, but nature in general is very good. You have protection buffs. You have precision buffs. You have arrow buffs with the poison. You have good summon, like battlefield summons. Um, you have howl. You have relief, which are really powerful battlefield spells. You have some not great evocations that you can throw. And good items you can forge. Ritual-wise, it's a little weak. Mother Oak is pretty strong. Gift of Health, of health is pretty strong. I think that's basically it for nature. So nature's pretty good. We're, we're just not good at it. Yeah, Pyrrhic, I, I agree about the updates. Like, you know, I, I covered RimWorld a little bit last week. I'm, I'm going to be playing some RimWorld in a few weeks. Probably when the DLC comes out, I'll do an additional stream. That's not going to take over any Dominion's content. But people have kind of been whining about their DLC because it doesn't really go on sale too much, like 10, maybe 20%. But, I mean, RimWorld's been out for years. Years. And they have tons of free updates, and they support the modding community really well. So asking for 30 or $40 every year or so for an optional DLC seems totally fair to me. Like, people that think that you can have games get continuously updated and have no income stream don't live in the real world. Like, companies have to pay their employees. They have to eat. Even solo devs have to eat. So, yeah. That is way different than Paradox or Creative Assembly pumping out a hundred DLCs every month and asking like $30 for a skin or something. I don't know. Our gaming market has been so screwed up for so long. It probably will never go back to the good old days, but it sure would be nice if it got better. Okay, easy peasy. I'm not expecting any of these fights to go go south. See how Bernard does here. He's fighting just garbage, so he should be just fine. We're even throwing him some skeleton chaff in front. These guys are like middle-aged troops. 14 protection with a length 5 pike. So they're, they're going to stomp on these guys. Yeah, absolutely. Our snakes have actually been surviving pretty well. Normally they die in like every fight I have. Let's speed this up. I think we know where this is going. Not bad. How do we do? Our elite warriors got 41 kills. We did lose 11 of them. Not too bad, though. Okay, what was this one? Okay, the rim, the the main army, I guess you would call this, but it's looking a little raggedy at the moment. Great chariot there. Glad they failed their trek. 
Ha ha. Unexpected event. Assassination attempt. Meddling with dark arts, your necromancer has attracted unwanted attention. Spirits from the nether realm now haunt this land in search for the mage. They attack indiscriminately. Okay. <laughs> what? Chill soul the ghost against our shaman. Do we have the anti-undead astral spell? Twist fate. Gift of the hair does nothing. Heal does nothing. We're trying to hit him with our scepter. We don't. Okay. That is disappointing. Are we besieged by ghosts? Okay, no. At least we have that going for us. Well, that was a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. I do think we're going to bring this army down to support the throne fight. I'm feeling I want to make sure we win that without taking like stupendous amounts of casualties. All right, and you are going to need to not take other troops. Oh, he didn't make it a full run. Dang it. Okay, so one, two, three turns. He's not going to be able to get there. Three turns to get there. Uh, okay. If that's the case, then I think we take this. Yeah, that's fine. Not the end of the world. This is slower than I was hoping for. All right, you guys search. Have not got a new one here yet. At the capital. Just going to pick up reinforcements. I do think we need probably more line troops for another army. And we need some big mage action. We do have a mage here. Can you make it to that fight? Not really. Okay, just research. You guys. They did put they pushed Kalasa off. That's disappointing. I kinda wanted those two to be stuck in a conflict. I also wanted to take this, but if I take this, then we're touching. Maybe I go here. Oh, Pishashish and Ganyas. Oh, those are actually pretty nasty undead. We'll see those on Lanka next week. I think we're going to try to take those anyways, though. We'll definitely win, but... Uh, maybe we take Kalasa quick. We have a second big army in the neighborhood, so if we need to reinforce, we can. I think they have nature and astral income, if my memory serves. So, vaguely useful, maybe. We're not at war with Baratos anymore. I guess that wore off because we weren't fighting. Yeah. Huh. We haven't heard back from Ermor. Okay. We don't have to make a decision yet, though. We're still going to get that thrown. I do feel like we're attacking one of the two, though. I, I don't see a reason not to. What are you doing? Oh, you're the temple guy. That'll be seven temples, so hopefully we can get a few more and get our dominion up again. All right, you were coming over here to build more. Send an infrastructure guy over there. I do think I'm going to fort this too. Do we have, what do we have to spare? You, go there. And shop it. If no one's going to attack you, you might as well build infrastructure. Then we can just pump out Reborn as fast as possible. We got the money. We just can't spend it fast enough. 
resources up here. Oh, nice, nice. I wish we had a cataphract leader here too. That would be really handy. <laughs> Since his history be like, Vant claims throne 240 million perish. <laughs> yeah. Or more, yeah, I don't know, like, when I've been playing test games, Ermor's been pretty aggressive, but every single stream I'm like, hey, 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 we're gonna attack Ermor, and Ermor's like, peace nicks, and they're just always in a position where it's like, I can't attack them for no reason, because other people will take advantage of it if I do, but I really want to. Vance says, I bought the horse armor in 2009 and enjoyed it. So it's your fault. I'll, re I'll remember that. Babel will remember that. All started with Vant buying the horse armor. Yeah, German, they're, they're a fun enough nation, and they're, they're just kind of cool. But mechanically, I do feel that they're a little vanilla compared to even themselves in either the other times like we can't do foul vapors easily and that's kind of like Satis's big thing and we just can't do it in this age like we in theory can do it but it's very hard to get there and we don't have enough poison resist to survive our own foul vapors which just kind of sucks all right finally we have enchant five which was our first research goal so we need to fix our scripts we searched for sites, found nothing that we already knew about that one. Lost cripple, lost cripple, lost cripple, lost cripple, battle. Okay, this is our group moving into position for the throne fight. Perfect, our heavy, our undead take the uh, charge there, so that's good. Yeah, this army's starting to look really raggedy. There's something to be said about preserving your forces. Like, this army has a lot of experience. I really don't want to throw these troops away for no reason. Like, experience is such cheap stuff. Look at this dude. He's got three experience. This dude's seen some shit. Get to see another fight. Man, they are fighting over this province quite a lot. Oh, the fire giants are out. The fire giants are out. Will a boulder, 37 damage. A boulder might not kill. In fact, a boulder will not kill this guy. Wow. That's impressive. They didn't even throw their boulder. They literally just ran into melee. Okay, that's weird. This is actually an interesting matchup because a lot of these guys have fire resist. So their heat auras aren't going to do a, a ton. Yeah, I think they just weathered the storm. Yeah, interesting. That is not a lot of fire giants that just wiped out a pretty decent sized army. Dark Shake Lord. Yeah, I, I, I too like Paradox games, so don't take that I'm ragging on the games, but um, I do feel, they and they have gotten a bit better, at least with Crusader Kings. They're, they're still doing a little bit of like the outfit cosmetic packs but i don't mind those so much crusader kings 2 got ridiculous when you had to buy the like 
culture packs for the troops or you got like the super generic troop look they were really pushing it on that like when people would look at that game it's like 300 dollars to buy into the game and i know that's not technically how it works but that's how people felt and if people don't buy it then you don't get the money so i do feel like crusader kings has been a lot better um i wish they would carry that on to some of the other games though it sounds like City Skylines 2 has just been a complete flop. And they just completely screwed that studio who did the... What was that game called? Light... Light Bearers? Light Beacons? The, like, XCOM sci Or the XCOM, like, fantasy detective game thing. So, like, Lamplighters. I think that's what it was. Lamplighter League. I think they just got completely screwed by Paradox. I think Paradox said ship it, even though it wasn't ready... And then it didn't sell, and then Paradox is like, well, we're dropping your studio. So, I don't know. That that just feels kind of gross. Paradox kind of felt... They used to feel kind of like they were the supportive publisher for those type of studios, but I don't think they are anymore. All right, this is against those undead things. Yeah, check these guys out. When we do Lonka, we're probably going to use these. Uh, Lonka has, I believe it's a summon for these, but they're ethereal with a spectral club. So they have magic damage on it, and it's magic resist uh, for half damage, not against armor. And then these guys are nowhere near as good. They're basically like ghouls, essentially, but like monkey ape ghouls, but a lot of attack. I think they have a yeah, okay, Paralyzing Poison. I was thinking Drain for some reason. 50 Paralysis damage. That's ridiculous. This is where having a few Serpent Dancers would have been nice. Those magic would have made short work of these. I think we'll be just fine, though. These pikes should be great against these guys. The fatigue damage doesn't do anything against the skeletons. We do not have a Holy Three with this army, though, do we? It's unfortunate. Yeah, I think, I think our pikes are doing most of the work here. I love that these guys just wake up once in a while, raise some skeletons, and then fall back to sleep. <laughs> 138 fatigue. He's going to be up for quite a while. Okay. Yeah, that went all right. I mean, considering how long those guys lasted with no support, I mean, that just goes to show how good those undead troops are. Unexpected event. More naked people. There's the alteration event we were warned about. All right. Let's move it up. Started the fort there. Let's get our temple. Another cataphract location. And and turtles! Turtle village! Did I beat bruh? I beat bruh. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and Baratos is here. Shoot. It's like one turn too early. But I feel like I want to engage them because they're going to start rampaging through my stuff. 70 units, elite soldiers, colossi, archers, Seaham, the bride in waiting who radiates power, so that's probably their profit. I think we engage. I'm not quite ready, but I'm also not, like, horrendously out of place. Can you make it there? Okay, two turns. It is go time. 
all of you guys, I think you're going to join the war effort too, so. Uh, and I did say we need to redo our scripting, because now we have Horde of Skeletons. So for 40 fatigue, we do 5. So we'll get 3 of those off, and then we'll pass out, essentially. Alright, let's see if my key works here. Yes. Alright, who's out of position? You are. Okay. I thought I saw a bunch of yous that didn't have leaders. Okay. Two flanks are still going. Still got our pikes. Let's make sure we pay for them. Okay, we're still good. Fishmaster Sog! Oh, too bad you're not useful to me. Alright, so we attack them here, hopefully. Hopefully they don't go here. That would be the most annoying spot they could go. You guys... Um, you preach for a turn, you search for a turn, you guys patrol for a turn. You were coming over to pick these up and then heading out. You are going to join this fight, but not this turn, so you can preach. Man, our money is doing so good. I really wish I could be spending that better right now. We have another fort going up here, and next turn we'll start another fort here. And then we'll start a fort here. That'll probably be our last one, because I think we'll win the game before we have more territory. Maybe we get another one in here. Maybe. Okay, another scout. I'm so grateful that we found this scout spot. If we didn't have these, man, that would be so annoying. I definitely feel like scouts are way rarer uh, on indie provinces than they were in 5. I feel like in 5, they were just everywhere. In this one, I feel grateful when I find them. I right, got a temple here. I think we're going to continue. What are we up to? 7. By the way, Babel, does Satis have any sacred summons? Why, yes, it does. There is a sacred alligator, who's not the worst thing ever, but they're kind of expensive, and a sacred monster toad, who has a poison aura, who I think both of those are okay. They use nature gems. One of them you can do pretty easy, and one of them I think you have to empower nature to summon. The problem with them is they both kind of need regen to be good. And regen doesn't really do anything for us. So I don't know if they're particularly worth worth it. Um, they also have Scorpion Men, but that's Conjuration 8. And who gets to Conjuration 8, like, ever? One Merc. Oops. Yeah, we, we want to keep Bernard. Those guys are doing work for us. Were the Giants blessed? Oh, shoot, I didn't check that, did I? Shoot, yeah, we should have checked that. I, did, I don't remember hearing blessings going off, so maybe they didn't. One of your leaders is up front. Uh-oh, whoops. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> is it a leader who has troops, or did somebody lose all of his troops and run out in front? Okay, search for sites. Okay. All of you guys... Why did you get diseased? Stop being diseased. Move up to the throne. Move up to the throne. Move up to the throne. Once I play EA Success, I want to learn, lean a little more into a strong bless and see how it works out. Yeah, I mean... The Serpent Dancers aren't misery, right? Like, I personally don't care for them too much. Um, if you were going to want to use them, I think what you need to do is up their defense more. I think you need to take them into elf range. Like, 17 is okay. He's getting that from his experience, though. Maybe up their protection. 
but you don't want to use Stygian skin because they have five natural protection. So you're probably looking at like a hard skin bless if you were going that route. But then I also feel like 15 damage is not enough to guarantee the strong poison. So I feel like they also need a little bit more strength. Or, I don't know, maybe quickness. They don't have encumbrance problems, so quickness would help you with that a little bit. I don't know. Uh, if you look at my uh, pregame video, there's some decent comments on it from people suggesting blesses. Maybe check and see if one of those perks your interest at all. Okay, we got a big battlefield for this, and we're going to want to mostly be way in the back because we are hoping to do a lot of skelly spamming, at least as much as we can. Hold and attack rear, hold and attack rear. All right, let's get our horde set up. This is like a fifth of the amount of casters I want. Wow, that is terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Where, where are all my necromancers at? Get over here, bums. All right, we have our Holy Four guy here. So what I really just need from him is some courage. Then I don't care what you do. Okay, our scout that's here can move out. All right, front line, second line. Let's have these here. Let's do my troops. I think we're going to bring these guys to middle. Diddle with these. What did we see here? The wear fence. Okay, yeah, yeah. In fact, let's hold and attack enemy flyers with our chariots. Don't, I think we're bigger than Wervens, but I'm more worried about just killing them. Because what I don't want is them to land on these guys, which is probably exactly where they're going to land. Try to kind of hide here a little bit. I think oh, I, I changed my mind on this one. I think I'm going to have these guys attack rearmost. I'm going to have these guys. I'm going to just bring all my elite warriors over here and try to really box this in. I'm going to be so sad <laughs> if those wervens land in this little box. Hopefully they do not. Okay, we take that throne. Oh, we didn't check our fight. Not too distracted by that. Do you plan on going to Middle East? Yeah, yeah. I I probably won't double play most nations. Um, maybe if I have like an impromptu stream or something, and I'm just feeling it. But generally speaking, my plan is just to get content out for as many nations as I can so that people that are new can find videos. Uh, when I was new to Dominions, that's what I always like to do. I like to watch a video on a nation, you know, preferably a guide, but if not a guide, then at least some gameplay. And then that would give me some ideas how I wanted to play the nation. So that's kind of just what I'm trying to supply at the moment. But we have some other great creators putting out content too. A lot of new faces I'm happy to see. But yes, we will definitely do middle age and late age. Um, when I pulled people, early age was the favorite. And about half as many people liked middle age, and about a quarter of many people liked late age. So that will kind of be the order I go. But like I said earlier, it's whatever I'm fancying. If I just get the urge to play Asphodel or something, I'm, I'll just do it. But for now, the logical order is just kind of do the interesting nations, at least from early age first. And it's kind of fun to have, like, our nemesis nations and whatnot. Like, for a while, we were really against the fire giants, and now it's Purines kind of got my ire up. Kind of just builds, like, a meta story to it, almost. I do not think this is, yeah, not relevant. 
All right, did we cap? Okay, good, we did hit them. And I feel like this should be our win. I don't think they have anything that's too crazy. One mage here, is she their prophet? No. Did we see a bless go out? Yes. No. No, we did not. All right, let's see how we do here. I'm liking the number of skeletons out front. That's what I like to see. More better. Okay, pikes are filling in nicely. I like to see these guys on the Colossi, which did not get blessed. They are getting buffed with mist form, though. That's a little worrisome. Looks like our flank went on. Oh! Oh, did our flank go perfectly? She is so lucky she got misformed that turn. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You can do it. Man, the timing on that misform. She's like bleeding, I think. Oh, no, not bleeding. Man, that would have been perfect if we got that kill. As we learned, those are so expensive. Yeah, that misform. Oh, she had misform. That's why it was the ones. Because we weren't breaking misform. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Go back there. Set up our orders quick. I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to fight those elephants with this group. So I think we're just going to chill here for a turn or two. We'll see what they do. Roll that event. I knew about that one still. They got attacked by barbarians. That sucks to be them. And we did some patrolling. Okay. Alright. Throne battle is set up. You can start building more palisades. I think I'm going to up... The defense. Got recruits going on here. Recruits are capital. Probably should just set that up on a repeat. Okay. Temple boy. Build me a temple, please. You were coming down here to do infrastructure, build a lab. All right, and just absolutely saturate this area with as many scouts as we can. If these really are the only two forts that Baratos has, I think this is going to be a quick war. We just need one good fight to kill off the elephants. So we'll win this throne battle, resituate ourselves, and then head down here. And then at the same time, we'll flank up with this army. And we should be just about ready. Well, no. A few more turns before this army is ready to go. Still need to do something for Domar, too. Give him some gear. And this is the Sight Searchers. Where do we add on magic? Man, our research just sucks. I kind of want to get Rigor Mortis, but a, a Tier 6, the game will probably be over at the rate we're going before we get a Tier 6. That is disappointing. It's hardly surprising to have lazy necromancers. They have their minions hard at work. Well, their minions aren't here either, so... Not helping us out in either way. All right, found a site. Another nature one, not bad. 
All right. Let's see how this went. No, oh, Baratos attacking us. Time out. Okay, this is our Pike army. So this is in the south. What did you have? Storm Drakes. Okay. A fiend of darkness. A smattering of stuff. I don't think they can kill anything of importance. Uh, Storm Drake. Eh. Okay, we got the bride that time. Right. Now we can view the throne battle. All right, let's see. In fact, slow, slow this down, slow this down. All right, so we have, this is a problem, that ice drake. That could be very painful depending on where that lands. Glamour mage that's gone berserk? What? Hang on. Did one of them literally just berserk him? No, he has a Berserker pelt on. What are you doing? Alright. Bear Claw. Uh, I'm noticing something here, guys. Skull Talisman. Okay, he's somebody's going into a communion here. Okay. I don't see any werewolf or uh, werewolf stuff. All right, Drakes, where do you land? Right in my leadership. Okay, good. Got him. <laughs> and these guys are size six, dang. So we don't get a trample, but we're actually not that bad of a matchup. Like we're not good. Like they have two attacks, we have two attacks. Their attacks are a little bit better. But I feel like we're okay. Fanaticism's out. Our mages are safe. So we're not going to get goinked on that. Although maybe they killed a couple reborn already. I think we had three, didn't we? It's not the worst, though. Not too worried about this. Not too worried about this. I'm very worried about these drakes. What size are they? Five. Okay, so they are trampleable if we can get free from the werevin. Okay, good, good, good. Yep, there's those werevins shooting. Slow that back down. Luckily, they're firing into their own troops and they're not fire resistance like our Bistians were. So at least for now, they've done probably more damage to themselves than us, but now he's got clear shots. Oh, look at this absolute champion, Drake Slayer. Drake Slayer, that's his name. Buy him a, a snake whiskey or something. One of those ones where they put the snake venom in it. Okay, we're trampling mages in the back. Good to see. Okay, I want this guy dead. That's what I'm waiting to make sure. This is like the only thing that could turn this fight around. Oh, good. Okay, his morale's broken. All right. We Gucci. Um, I'll have to see the losses, but I think that went well. I think that went really well. I don't think we lost anything vital. We, we the Wervens were the dangerous bit, and I think we traded very well with those. Nerd rage. <laughs> yeah, it's not a werewolf talisman, but it would do the same thing essentially. But I don't think those are cursed. So if we get that, we could get, we can move it off of somebody. Like we we could give that to our chariot commander. He could go berserk. I wouldn't care about that so much. 
It's not that those items are always bad, it was just bad in the circumstance we had. Alright, where is this? Oh, Baratos is having Kirla. Oh, look who we see here! Would you look at that? Ladies love the bull. All I'm saying. Nature Blood. Okay, that's a totally fine build. What's your bless? Blood Bond. Dark Vision. Unaging. Um. I'm not feeling it. The Blood Bond is good. I would have gone Blood Bond Regen. This isn't the worst thing I've seen, though. Colossi Warriors do have a lot of HP, so you could get use out of that. Yeah, they're using their Bandar Swordsman. These guys are good, but they're no hats. I don't know what it is about all these big tough guys. They don't think they need to wear their safety equipment. You're making a mistake, man. Just wear the helmet. You berserk. Yep. Kilosa did not stand a chance on that fight, that's for sure. Okay. I think we caught a yeah, scout. Perfectly fine. Um seeing that, if we fought that same battle, would we win? I think we would, but the losses would be horrific. But we could kill their god. I think I'm willing to chance that. Bernard, are you still cool, man? You're still cool. Iron Man, we would hire you. Why don't you work for me, please? I think we attack. I think now is the time. Okay, over here, what did we get? Golden Throne. Okay, okay. 400 gold, not really needed. Uh, Astral and Fire. Cool. Alright, how many people can I take and how many people need to stay behind? We have this Shaman here. He could come up and do all the infrastructure for us. Our, it's not like we're hurting for cash at all. I think we recruit this guy. He can build the fort. And I think we just move on. I don't think we linger here. Because I want to get to fighting Baratos. So somebody has to claim the throne. So you... No, you have troops. You do that. Did anybody get random gear or something from that? No. I don't think there isn't a report on that, is there? No. All right, two good thrones in one game. What is going on here? Claim that throne. Okay, that's two thrones. We are touching a third, and you know we could go for cataclysmic. You know. We take the throne and win, so it doesn't matter how, how bad our losses are. But we need one more. So it's probably this one. And to get here, I think we kill Baratos. Or at least, you know, completely gut him. I think we just take this army, we march straight on the capital, we take this army, we sit here. We have another army building. I need a Taskmaster here. I also need to pick up these archers. I kind of think I want to fort this too now. Alright. We will have to get some leadership, so I'm going to do it over here. Well, I guess there's, we're not recruiting a cap only thing, so we'll do it here. When this finishes. 
All right, give me... We're not really fighting unarmored things. That's where the Falchion guys are really good. These would be really good against Kalasa. Like, really good compared to these. But we're fighting Baratos. Baratos actually has armor and length three weapons. So I think we stick with the elite warriors. How's our front line looking? Very shoddy. Let's get some more heavies. I see chat flying by, so I'm going to have to take a second look at that. Get these orders settled first. <laughs> Heavy cavalry and snakes! How would you possibly fight that? Hold an attack closest. Steven troops, guard commander. Oh, we do have a taskmaster. Oh, good, good, good. Where are you? Up north. Okay, come down here. Excellent. I didn't want to stop, want to stop recruiting, so... All right, um, I think we march out with these guys, though, because it's going to take us a few turns because we're going to have to come across this bridge to get over to the front. Alternatively, what do we do with them? Stay here? I don't know. I, I, I feel pretty safe on this flank, so I, I do think I want these guys to head towards the front. All right, you're going to go there to build infrastructure. Man, two good thrones in one game. What is going on here? It's crazy. I think we're going to build a temple there. It, you know, it goes to show, though, we're, we're not really leveraging our magic very well this game. We're doing this purely off of scales troops, basically. So it goes to show you that their, their army can definitely hold their own. You build temple. What are we up to on those? Nine. Okay. Next temple will raise our dominion strength again. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Let me check in on chat here because I see it moving. Berserker mage got roasted by one of the drakes. Wow. What a way to what a way to end. <laughs> The money throne, yes, yeah. I ironic that we get that in the game where we're not having money problems. Uh, okay, yeah, there is, okay, I'm not crazy. There is an entry that will tell you down by retreat, yeah, 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 that you found an item. I, I swear there was one, but then I started second guessing myself because I'm shocked we didn't get an item from that because almost every mage there had something. I also noticed that we just got another disease, so somewhere around here there's a disease site, because we keep picking up diseases. Kind of sad not to see the throne of winter immediately. Why? Don't bring that energy, man. Okay, now I'm going to go check. Okay, it's not icy. We're good. This one wasn't either. Okay. That, that would be so par for the course. We, we play Satis and we get a throne that like takes us down to neutral heat scales. That would just be so par for the course. Progress on new mic. Um, all right, I've, I've narrowed it down to the couple I want to get. They're a little pricey, but I figure I want to get something that's going to work well. Um, I do think I'm going to need a mic arm and probably a pop filter. I do have a uh, p -p -p poppy sound when I talk, especially when we're doing long streams when my mouth gets dry, so. All in all, I think we're probably like 70% of the way there, give or take. Um, with the thousand subscribers, I was able to turn on some ads, and so that's a, you know, a buck or two. That'll, that'll add to that, so. In my original hope, I was going to build my new machine this, this next week, but I work has just kicked my butt. I haven't had time to do any parts research or anything, so it'll have to wait a couple months until I have some, some time to work on it. Yay, construction four! Yay! <laughs> All right, well, um, maybe we'll get five done before the game ends. 
Okay, claimed our golden throne. All right, this should be us attacking their fort province. If they don't have magic support, there's nothing they can do against this army. I guess, or elephants. The elephants also could cause issues. Yeah, just plain troops, we're just gonna roll over. Oof. Yeah, this is that Pegasus throne. Yeah, here's one of the Ermorian sacred leaders. Very similar to the troop. They have an actual lance. However, they only use it once, and then they have to switch to their broadsword. Uh, this one's blurred for some reason. Oh, that's their bless. Wait, their bless is blur? What did you spend your points on? With those crappy scales. Anyways. Recuperation's great, but I don't like recuperation on this type of cavalry. Because what'll happen is the horse will die, and your your troops gonna leave anyways. Here's the light barding with body protection 10, which is okay, but no head protection. So literally the horse is just gonna die, like all the other cav. I I don't think Armor wins this. I don't think you win this at all. Dead god? Oh, that could be. That could be. <laughs> Blur is all I can do. <laughs> uh, if he was dormant, he would be out. If he's imprisoned, um, yeah, he could be imprisoned. Maybe, maybe you're right on that. Because it's late summer too, so we should be seeing him at the end of winter, if that's the case. A unexpected event. Strange events are occurring in superstition. Okay, that's our cult. That's our cult right there. I don't suppose we could just naturally patrol that out. Why do I have a bunch of mages here that didn't go there? Uh. Oops, I'm not sure how I did that. Okay, so we're gonna need a turn to catch up. No, I don't think I don't think we stop. I think we're on the march. These guys will just have to do their best to catch up when they can. Alright, you are gonna build us a palisade. You are gonna build us a temple. You what are you? Just random scout somewhere. Go there. You there. What the heck happened last turn? I swear oh okay, this is this isn't Bernard. Okay. This is Clovis. <laughs> Obviously. How could you possibly mix up Bernard and Clovis? Obviously. Alright. Clovis, come up here and help. Speaking of which, let's make sure... Bernard, here's your payment. Please keep working for me. Uh, the Wolfkin Reavers. I would not mind those. We could raid the back here. Let's put a bid in on those. We've got the money. Uh, we can check that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Does this tell you if their god's dead or in prison, though? I don't think it does. So who have we seen for sure? Um, who did I say I didn't like their bless? It was Baratos. Yeah, that's what we saw. 
and we know he's awake, so we know that. So it maybe he literally is imprisoned. That would make sense. Blur's not incarnate, so that could totally be. And the AI doesn't normally do blesses like this. They normally throw at least some garbage in there. Wait. Okay, no, I guess that actually makes sense. Hey, your fire giants have some cold resist. Okay. This is actually okay for what the AI normally does. The defense skill is kind of whatever, but the cold resist makes the giants so they're not cold um, weak. Helps them out with the cold fighting mountain survival, and that's kind of whatever. Okay, that's all right. All right, zoo. Get searching up here. Um, who are you? Another temple builder. Man, what am I, the AI? Look at all these temples I got out this game. It helps when you're not literally turning every single one of your gems into cash so you can recruit troops. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to turn off the scouts. I think I am saturated enough. Build us a lab. Ooh, a double fire. Okay, this guy's going to go out searching. Pretty happy with him. Who are you? Um, did I mean to recruit this guy right here? Not sure what I was planning on doing with this guy. Oh, well, you can go pick up archers. That's at least something. Alright, and you, we're going to lead some troops. I do kind of want to fill this army up. This either will have to go to the war front, and if it doesn't, then this will be part of our throne. Our big throne fighting army. Oh, look at that. We rolled into a death four. You know what? For you, buddy, can you immediately cast Ritual Rebirth? Or no, twice more. In fact, actually, you probably should too. Well, let's get that rolling. It, twice more and basically if you I'll show that so you have to cast it before you die if you die you come back as an undead and you can come back with extra death so it's a very very good um, as undead you also won't have an upkeep so these guys like stupid high 206 uh, 36 gold will be zero so we could we could suicide into thrones or we could just leave them and if they die in battle. Like, this guy right here is a rigor mortis caster. Like, that would be so good. Maybe we start summoning up some long dead here in preparation for this fight. A bunch of long dead and then we rigor mortis the fight. That should probably guarantee our victory. How high in Evo do we have to go to get Shadow Blast? Five. We're probably not getting Shadow Blast. Three would give me Shadow Bolt. Now let's go to three, and then let's do Enchant Six. Enchant Six is Brigger Mortis at four. So we can straight up just cast it with that guy. Okay. I think I'm going to spend... Is it worth the turn to have these guys go to my capital? They'd get the research bonus. So for one turn of movement, we would lose 30 research. Each guy would get plus 2. So that would be plus 6 total. So we would have to research for 5 turns to break even. This game's going to last longer than five turns. All of you guys come to the capital, please. I'm just really, really feeling that we're not getting nearly enough research. All right. Attacking from the north, catching up to army. Um, who's moving over here? Oh, that group. Who is you? 
What is this phantom movement right here? What is this? Patrol, patrol, twice born, twice born, train monster, research, patrol, search. I'm not sure what this is trying to tell me. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Okay, there we go. You guys are adding to our pile on here. We have started to destroy walls, so we will definitely get through there. Strange events. Okay, that was that one. Let's grab a priest and we'll preach here too, just to see if that helps. I don't think that will help. In fact, no, let's, we've got money. Let's not be stingy. Let's get a leader. Oh, we don't have the resources. Oh. I was going to say we could patrol with these guys because I think their patrol strength, yeah, their patrol strength is good. Ah, never mind. Colt here, I guess. That's fine. Zach Street, thanks for coming in, man. I hope you enjoy the rest of it tomorrow. Cold resistant fire giants feels kind of wrong. If it's wrong to be right, maybe. A, a lot of people use resistances to patch up weaknesses, so that is actually a decent play by the AI. Okay, twice born, twice born. We searched for sites, didn't find. Go that way. Come to capital. People who moved can start researching. You two guys. Uh, you're twice born, so you're safe. Let's bring you to the front. Over here. I guess we should check that. Is that even worth watching? No, we slaughtered them. Uh, what is this? Is this the throne fight? <laughs> I love the AI's optimism. It's like four giants and a skeleton and they're like i got this man check this out this is gonna be this is gonna be hilarious watch this and then the spring hawks just insta gib them <laughs> and this griffin and not to mention the titan chassis that was sitting in the background all right y you go man found some earth gems we attacked which one is this Wait, what was that? Oh, they caught our scout. Okay. That's actually good info. Okay, so their god was right here. So he's probably coming for this army. Okay, I'll tell you what. We are going to change things up a little bit. You guys... There, can we line you? Okay, yeah. We're gonna change off of our horde of skeletons. Because they're gods here, we're gonna try we're gonna try to snipe him with a decay. If we hit their god with a decay, that's gonna be hilarious. Hopefully that will land. Hopefully. Alright. And if he's there, then he's not here. Oh, and we did win those other mercs. What do you got, buddy? Look at him! He's got a dragon helm! The little goblin's got a dragon helm. Aww. Look at that. These guys are from... Are, those... are these guys the middle-aged nation? They split off from one of the giants, I think. From Niflheim, maybe? They're like little goblin dudes. Size 2. The Wolfkin of Jotun. Yeah, so frost giants. Or Vetir, as they call themselves. Are a tribal people of goblins living in the deep forest of Jotunheim. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll definitely have to play that nation at some point. I think I've only played them maybe once when they got released from uh, Dom 5. Assuming that's not the new one. I think there's also another new one with them. Alright, we are going to have him, though, raid the back lines and just cut off their income. 
So very happy to have him on the team. Got our temple up, build us a lab. First level fort up, build the rest of it, please. But that means we can start recruiting. I think we're gonna, ooh, what's that? Unfortunately not needed. Those are, I do like these mages though, but we could do flesh constructs. We could do flesh constructs. Okay. You know what? Give me give me one of those. Let's look at that. We already have that researched. Do we have air income? Oh, no. Never mind. We do not have air income. Those are not death gems. Those are air gems. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then I don't think normally I would be super excited to get these guys, but frankly our elite warriors are better. So we're just going to recruit elite warriors. Simple as. I'm kind of wondering if we try to nap Kalasa. I was planning on goinking them too. I guess there's a throne here. Maybe we could do that. Maybe I won't nap them. They're just so weak. They're not really a threat to me. But I don't want them to attack and then just, like, raid me. But, three, four, win. Yeah. I do think we have to kill Baratos first, though. So, we have to win this Baratos war before we can take those thrones. Alright, temple guy. Keep temple in. And more infrastructure. All done with that. Um, I don't want to build unprotected forts right on the border. That's just asking the AI to get antsy. So I think he's just going to go home and research. And the fire guy, we're going to tell him to auto search. As much as I don't love auto search, I also don't care that much about fire gems. I never realized, is our chariot leader? He's not cap only. Why can I not get one here? Interesting. I guess they are cap only. I never noticed that. They're not labeled as such. Huh. Learn something new every day. Um, I was thinking I wanted one of those, but now... I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter which fort he comes from, right? Because we're not doing other things that are cap only. So we'll finish this, and then we'll grab one of those. I do think we'll grab some more chariots. It's starting to feel more and more like we're not going to have a battle here in the west. So maybe I start sending these guys. Let's leave the foot soldiers behind. Never mind, this is a foot soldier leading them anyways. Let's reinforce our southern army, I think, with these guys. Rather than waiting for the throne fight. Because I'm, I'm definitely feeling this. This feels like the victory path. We're a couple big fights away from killing Baratos, essentially. Unless he kills our army with this god. Bone zone mages. <laughs> Alright, battle in Kalasa. That's not us. I'm assuming that was a scout. No. Random air attack. Where is that? Okay, that is us attacking their capital. Hmm. I actually need to see what happened there. I wasn't going to watch that, but something bad happened. We get a flyer into us or something? Uh, 
Oh, I think maybe we just took a straight arrow. Yeah. Yeah, he took like an arrow. Yeah, full HP, man. What, what is your problem? Huh. Well, that could have turned this battle greatly. Good thing that we had basically won. Ooh, that was dangerous. Okay, what is this? They attacked me. Okay. You died. Alright, we breached the fortifications down here. We did not get attacked by their god. I think we just go for it. We have more reinforcements coming. If they take their god and their army here, then we take their capital, which is more valuable. But we, we had horrific retreating problems there. Um, we might we might have lost another leader. Maybe I just didn't see it a second time. Either way, we got lots of mages coming. Let's get this set up just in case. Many, many skeletons is what we need. And we'll set up our chariots on this side. We're going to hold and attack rear. Hold and attack rear. And then we just space these guys out. So just pour skeletons out in front of our line who are on hold and attack closest. Yep. Yeah, we'll have to do some more shuffling when these other units arrive. We have our Divine Blessing, we have our Fanaticism. We, we need reinforcements up here. That is starting to look really thin. Alright, grab me some of these, please. Uh, one of those, one of those. Make it two of those. Zoo. Zoo is out searching still. Oh, shoot. These guys have stealth. Dang it. Okay. Attack current province. Shoot. Okay. We own all the mercs, basically. Great to see that. Um, who are you? You are heading to the capital. No. You are a temple builder. You're auto searching. You're heading to the capital. Okay. You built infrastructure up here. You can do a quick search. One mark will expire. No, it will not, because we have lots and lots of money. All right. I'm trying to keep this moving a little bit here, but have to have to fix those scripts. You can't skim down on that. That's just asking for trouble when you start getting lazy on doing that. All right, Lizardman found a site. Enchanted field and an arena, nice. Extra recruitment points, extra supply, extra income, good sites. All right, we're gonna have him just research. We've got two turns on that fort. All right, we searched, uh, didn't find it with our fire guy. Battle in iron range. All right. Yeah, they need to see what's up with this AI suiciding like small groups of units into thrones. Like, it'd be one thing if they were failing in actual battle, but they're just like randomly sending dudes in here. All right, what is this? Uh, this is our raiding party, okay? Hopefully we can win. I don't know how good these guys actually are. They're okay. Attack 10, damage 12. They have 5 to a square. I think we win the engagements. This is our blink 3, right? Yeah. These guys would really like Strength of Giants. That would really help them out. Okay, yeah, they did alright. Now let's immediately go there so I don't forget... 
Okay, now can I have peace with Kalem? All right, we have our nap with them. If we had a nap with them, I'd feel very secure. All right, and we're not going to make the same mistake. We're going to move, not sneak. We'll raid this one. If there is their god, he's by himself. What, do you tempt me so? Let's see how this battle went. All right, lots and lots of just junk in front. Perfect. I wish they were firing arrows into that instead of my guys. Little bit. Yeah. Not bad at all. I'm gonna watch that though. All right, we lost nothing hardly. Unexpected event. Uh, Behesh the Reborn was wounded. Yep, that's our misfortune scales. Uh, our scout got found. We finished a palisade. Told me a fort. We have started to destroy the walls in Baratos. Okay. We did fix that script, but we needed to fix more with other things to fix here. You need to be leading those. These need to be led by him. I, I don't. I don't understand what died. Some something died that I missed that was leading like a billion troops. I messed that up. But this is really thin here. This is like really thin. You guys hold an attack closest. I don't think we'd win against this army. One, two, three, four, five. Five skeleton spammers? Maybe? What would that be? Five times fifteen? Seventy-five skeletons? Now soak up their charge. Oh, man, this is a tough one. I kind of want to be gutsy and attack here. He's by himself. We have people who can decay. I have mercs here that I don't care if they die. I think I think we're gutsy with this army. I think we, we play bold here. If these guys come here, then we buy time to kill Baratos. If they take Baratos, maybe we kill their god. We have reinforcements coming. Yeah. Hold and fire closest. Head up that way, please. What do we have over here? Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better with this amount of troops. We have our cav here. We have a few elite warriors. Hold an attack, rear post, you guys double line. Okay, yeah. I think I think we move out with this group. We have a lot of magic support. Yeah, move here. Let me set this up. If I didn't have this, I would be a lot more sketch on that. But I feel like even if he wipes that other army out, we have this one. We're gonna do basically the same thing. As we've been doing. Kind of put these guys. In fact, actually, hold on. Let's back up. We don't need to be aggressive. We want to buy time to build out skeletons. This is super nice against all that cavalry he's built. We'll just soak that charge with skeletons before anything else gets hit.
want to make sure I leave those mages up front. What the worst thing to happen is having skeletons stand behind your line, doing absolutely nothing. All right, what did you? Oh, you just got bumped. Okay. And you built the temple. I think now you get to retire to research. All right, we got another guy. These guys aren't super impressive. I'm going to move them. I'm, I'm going to move mages to the capital. I think it is worth it just for that bonus research. Oh, we got another death four guy. Oh, let's get twice born on him right away. Just in case. That's how yeah, these guys are coming too. I'll probably give them a better script, but let's give them something just in case they get caught. Okay, Zoo, you are still searching. Okay, if one of you needs to come up there. You can take chariots. Okay. Need more leadership here. Check our population growth here. Base plus 0.2, terrain minus 0.2, current pop growth zero. Alright, so we're not losing anything, we're not gaining anything, basically. I really, really tried to fit growth scales, and I just couldn't do it. Two mercenary contracts? No, no, no. Definitely not. You guys are very important to this war strategy that we keep these bodies rolling. Okay, let's roll that. Up, up, up. Uh, hey Babel, I just wanted to know your opinion on the new e EU5 announcement. Um, I don't particularly have a strong opinion on that. I've very, very lightly played EU4. Um, I just kind of sort of wanted to get into it too late and we got the parad paradox problem of like, $300 of DLC. I may check out five. I'm, I like the setting well enough. Um, I just haven't played enough of it to, to super have an opinion. Crusader Kings is more my jam. I, I really like the character driven kind of RPG roleplay aspect of it. I think in general people are kind of expecting it, so I don't think it was a surprise. I don't suppose they've announced it's a new engine, have they? Are they still, like, limping along with the Klauswitz? Yeah, CK2 was my jam. I'm, I'm waiting for CK3 to catch up. That's always going to be the Paradox's problem. Like, Stellaris is going to have a major problem when it's time for Stellaris 2. Because it feels really bad to be sold an upgrade that's missing 10 years of content. It feels real bad. Like, with Dominions, it, it'd be like we went back to the original Dominions 1 roster, and you had to, like, wait for them to release every nation. It would be terrible. It would be absolutely terrible. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, Construction 5! Alright. We can finally get our research actually moving in a positive direction. Forge some Skull Mentors, please. Um, yeah, we'll start with four of them. You patrol. Okay. You patrol. You were picking up heavy calf and snakes. I just love the idea that, like, we have a unit of troops that is made up of cataphracts and giant snakes. Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right, and then you can head to the front with those. All right, we did take... No, we bounced or died. Oh, I wonder what happened to our little goblin friends. All right, did we catch their god? We did. Okay.
All right, let's see what happens. So we're off script because they're out of range. We should go back to Decay now. That was a decent amount of dead. I do like that. We're probably going to have to tire this boy out while he tramples us. So the more undead we get, the better. I'm, I was kind of hoping for a decay on him, though. All right. Let's see how it goes. What size are you? Ten. Okay. And he had blood bond. Okay, that's going to do nothing. These guys could mess him up pretty good, too. Okay, I heard a decay go off, but it didn't land here. Oh, here they come. Okay, we hit our own guy. And our own guy. <laughs> come on. He's a big target! Oh! Come on. That's why I hate decay. Oh! How you feeling, buddy? 36 fatigue? Never healing wound and a limp? Limp is not good for tramplers. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think we got him. He's not killing anything here, hardly. Merchant Republics, yes. Some of the CK3 legacies are so set up for that. It's going to be so good when those get added. I hope they add them at the same time as they add trade routes. I, I really hope. Like, with the... What was the last DLC called? The, the one with the plagues. That really helped CK3. Like, I played a little bit of that. I was preparing to stream it, but then work kicked me in the butt. Um... Yeah, that really helped the game out. Praise Rex, but I guess Decay hitting our own troops is kind of Rexian. This was such an anticlimactic battle. Like, he didn't do anything. That was like the worst bull I've ever seen. Failed. Where's my message saying I killed you? I'm just annoyed by that fight more than anything. Um, I think I want to group everybody up. We'll take this. We'll take the throne. We'll take the throne. We'll win. Hopefully we'll get Rigor Mortis for that. I'm sure like that. You head over here. You guys are almost there. It's been a weird stream. This is not how I thought this game was going to go. We got put so far back that first year. Like, I feel like we're halfway as much research as we should have. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just off on that, but it feels bad. All right. Come drop your archers off. You grab them. I don't think we're going to bring these archers to the front. I think we're actually, in fact, actually, you stay here. We're going to staff our forts with these archers just in case somebody gets ideas. We'll just make sure that they don't get any, any rapid expansion through me. All right, and the... Reinforcements coming in. Still can head this way. Oh, hey, they built on a Pegasus. Not that we have any blessings that really do anything, unfortunately. These are better archers, though. Let's let's change what we're doing. We'll recruit some of those, and we'll turn off. Whoop. Or we'll, we'll hit in turn on accident. Sure. We'll turn off archers next turn. Fine. All right. We will turn off 
these archers. Look at our money, though. My goodness, I can't even spend it all. That's normally not a problem that Satis has, because we really, really, really like having a lot of mages. 29 research, and with a Skull Mentor, 43 research. These guys are not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, we have two more, so we can drop here and here. What, what, what? Oh man, it must be getting late, guys. I'm starting to misclick. That's not a good sign. Okay, research. You guys build me. Like, let's do two more school mentors and then we'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, German, thank you very much for the uh, five euro super chat. He says, cataphracts and snakes, are we in Pythium? Oh, I love Pythium. I love all the Urmors. Oh, don't don't tempt me with a good time in late age. That's true, though. That is true. Cataphracts and snakes. That is Pythium. I bet you, you know, now that you mention that, doesn't Pythium have a unique national spell that's basically um, blood fecundity for the plus growth? And it's, like, super easy to cast? It was kind of a joke spell in... in uh, Dom 5, but I bet you in Dom 6 with the new way that scales work, I bet you that'd be really good. Man, don't tempt me with a good time, man. Knock it off. Thank you again for the super chat. Very appreciated. Okay. I kind of think I'm done searching with this guy. Let's get him twice born and he can fight. I think we're kind of closing up here. We, we didn't do a great d job searching but nor did we find much with what we did search. We did okay. Some death gems, some nature gems, and a smattering of other things. Definitely could have been better. I don't like that you're here. I don't really like that one bit, actually. I am gonna, and I am gonna attack you, aren't I? Yes, I am. So I can't nap him. Okay. We got Alt-1. I think we're going to just forget the Evo. I, I kind of want to get... I will do the alteration, but I, kinda, I really would like to get Rigor Mortis. Just to show it off, if nothing else. Alright. Uh, I am starting to feel more and more that maybe we do need to go up to five thrones. Because that would take me much longer. But conversely, I mean, we're on how many hours of stream so far? Four and a half, almost five hours. That would probably add another hour to the game. So I don't know. I don't know if I've got that in me. If only I could start sooner. I really wish I could get off work quicker on, on Fridays. Okay, found a site, did our summon, we had a battle. This is probably the end of Baratos. I doubt he I doubt he does anything in this fight. Our horde of skeletons runs forward, soaks up all the damage, and actually lives to fight. So we've hit critical mass of skeletons. Meanwhile, the elite warriors flank and kill. That's beautiful. Textbook Satis. Uh, a vengeful sea hag has cursed this province. That's not great. Finish the palisade. Good, good. Construct a fortress. We have started to destroy the fort in Barito, so we're not done yet. We'll group everybody up, and then that should probably pop it one more turn. We got tons of supplies there, so we could move up. This group doesn't have a Hoi 3, so I don't think that it's worth looking at the throne. I think this army will go and they'll finish off the rest of Baratos. Alright. Um, 
you know what? Instead of school mentors, would you guys actually forge me? This Amulet of the Dead is a really good item. So if you're doing divine reanimation, which are priests who can revive the dead, or rituals, you get two extras. So this can make certain things very efficient that are otherwise kind of not efficient. Like late age statists can use these to up their reanimation quite, quite well. And they're pretty cheap items. Like five death gems is not expensive. Let's build a couple of those. If we look at this guy, if we were going to do reanimation, for three gems, we get 10. But if we add in the item, we would get 12 for the same cost, essentially. So it only takes a few turns to pay for itself if you're going to do a lot of summoning. Okay, I think that's everything. We will attack Baratos. We'll finish him off with this group. Then we attack the thrones. One Merc contract. Um, I think we are actually getting to the point where I don't care about the Mercs as much. Iron Men. No, I don't think we need them anymore. It's just a lot of extra clicks. <laughs> Magical Blitz game. <laughs> I will... I will, in a few months, have much more time on my hands. Things will quiet down, and I will have much, much more time. I'm, I'm hoping... I don't know. I, I don't want to commit to anything at the moment, because, I, you know, who knows what the future holds. But I'd like to get myself up to... We'll still do the Dominions video. We'll still do the Dominion stream. We'll, I want to add another scheduled stream. I don't know what it'll be. Like Crusader Kings, Rim World, something else as like a medium length game. And then maybe even a kind of a random stream, just whatever I'm feeling once a week. So I, I would like to scale quite a bit, but it's going to be a couple months. It's just, it, I, it will not happen until work slows down. I just don't have that much oomph. Now I'm, I'm basically working about 50 hours a week, and then I spend about 40 hours on what I'm currently doing. Uh, for content, I just don't have any more in me. I have to sleep at some point. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the the flesh is weak. Okay. Port Strong found water gems. We finished a, another fort. Excellent. You are going to go pick up archers. Iron Nation left. Or Iron Men left. Cool. That's fine moderately damage. Wow, I'm surprised that this walls are holding up as well as they are. It's alright. It's a matter of time. He doesn't have any forts left, so. We will get him. And you came here because you needed to twice born. And you two guys are going to equip... No, you don't get two. They do not stack. All right, and then you guys are going to monthly ritual. You know, we could do behemoths. No, we'll just stick with regular undead. And we'll just build up a secondary force here, just in case we need this. If something goes awry. Why did you stop sight searching? Because you cornered yourself. All right. One Merc contract. Yeah, we're done with Mercs. 10-hour stream. Hey, I've done it before, man. I I did live. I did live. Xavier, welcome in, man. Yeah, I caught a live stream. New to Dom 6. What's a good intro faction to start learning? Uh, there. There's two ways to approach it. One way is... Whatever you think is cool, whatever was like, oh man, that looks cool, I want to play that. With maybe the caveat of not a free spawn nation, those are a little complicated if you've never played before. 
But if you saw a nation and you're like, oh man, that looks cool, play it. You, maybe you'll suck at it, maybe you won't, but you'll have fun. And you'll read the lore and it'll be really cool. The second option is something mechanically relatively easy. And if you're looking for something like that, most people say Middle Age Ulm because they're, they're humans that wear very heavy armor and they have very little magic. Me personally, I would say Early Age Ulm is a good choice. It's You have lots of decent troops that do different things. They have a lot of flavorful lore and they have some decent magic availability. Early Age Abyssia. I played that last week if you want to check out those videos and see what that looks like. But they're basically lava men with very heavy armor. And most of their magic is fire magic, which is very straightforward. I think I think Dominion's magic is fun and cool. I don't know why you'd want to play a game without it. So I think Abyssy is a better start than Middle Age Ulm. Or another good one might be Early Age Ur. Uh, their Inkidu, which is like, it was a character from um, the Epic of Gilgamesh. So if you know what that is and you think that's cool, that's where that kind of lore comes from. And they're basically big, hairy, giant guys that are a, they're a fun nation. They're not the most powerful or anything, but they have some decent straightforward magic and they have some decent straightforward troops. And if you're looking for like a monster type nation, they're pretty cool. Um there's lots and lots of videos from myself and other creators. So if, you, if you're questioning something, maybe check and see if there's a video just to see what other people are doing. But Dominions is a very complex game and there's a lot to it. It is not a solved game. So if anyone tries to tell you, you have to play this or you have to do that, they're wrong because nobody knows the answer yet. So play what's cool, I think is the best advice for that. Okay, speaking of play what's cool, let's check in here. So one turn of casting those undead with all those buffs we had got us this many. So for six death gems plus the items we equipped, we ended up with seven of the really good ones. No, more than that. Eleven of the really good ones and 15 of... Oh, these guys are perfectly fine. Yeah. This is like heavy infantry. So I, I quite like these undead. I think these are good ones. You are really well armored for an early age skeleton. You are quite well armored. Those are not bad. I wonder if you could even rush these guys for expansion. Just rush enchant and then summon these up. You have enough income to cast that spell every turn. That would be interesting to try. All right, what else we got here? All right, we attack them. We're just cleaning out provinces. I'm not going to watch that. Battle in Volongrad. That was Kailasa, so we bounced. Apparently we won the bounce. What did we hit? Look at you. The Prophet. Penetration bonus, True Sight, Spirit Sight, Combat Farcaster, Magic Leadership. Um, that's actually okay. You really need Magical Leadership on Kailasa. Uh, they have a lot of magic troops that are hard to move around if you don't take that. Combat Farcaster is perfectly fine. They have great mages that are sacred. The sights are kind of whatever. Um, there was nothing in this game that needed that, but that's okay. I, w I probably wouldn't take both of those. And penetration bonus is fine. So, Kalasa, I think you win the uh, best AI buff of this game. Good job. I'm sorry you didn't know how to use it to do better. Because you did not do particularly well this game. As the cataphracts come in <laughs> to uh, teach you that lesson. <laughs> Do we kill their prophet, or does he fly away? He flies away. All right, well, that's your own fault. Don't blame me. You bounced me. All right, he is... What is that? Is that a throne? 
Yeah, okay. He checked the throne. Battle in Midlands. Is this the same thing? It's like all the AIs have decided to, like, bounce thrones for some reason. It's just really weird. I'm actually going to look at that one because we're going to fight this throne. So let's use let's use his intelligence as our intelligence. All right. This is going to be no problem. By the time we get here, we'll have all of our troops. We'll lose some things to the elephants, but whatever. We'll lose some things to the ice strikes, too. Ethereal bears. Oh, he's got fall bears. These actually aren't a terrible nature summon. They're a little hard to move around because they're not, they're magic beings. So you need like mages to move them, but they're ethereal with regen, which is pretty nice. Not going to save him though. Yeah. All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Man, their misfortune is really kicking them in the rear. I think he's actually lost some land to Kailasa. Fire Giant's not having a good game this game. I think they just got pecked at from way too many sides. Although, now that I say that, they have definitely, I would say, bounced back. This, they're about the same size we are. Unfortunately for them, I think we win before that becomes a problem. Because they have one throne, two thrones, three thrones, four thrones. Yeah. So he, he is in striking distance of victory, but he's nowhere close to claiming those. So too late, too slow. All right. You got your twice born? Yes, you did. Head to the front, please. What are you, Sight Searcher? Head up that way, please. All right, let's roll it. Oh, Yomi, yeah. Yo Yomi thugs slash super combatants are fun. They're, they're a free spawn nation, though, so... Again, don't let anyone discourage you from what you want to play, but they're a hard one to start with, because you rely on other mechanics to get your troops... Um, than a regular nation would. But they are cool. I love those guys. They are so flavorful. I like I like the Japanese mythos, so those are quite fun. I'm looking I'm really looking forward to playing them in other ages when we can do um Jomen and um Shinyama. Those are really cool nations. Okay, um, are you bouncing off the throne again? No, you just bounced off a random province. That's something. Okay, we took that territory off of them. We cracked the fort? No, we didn't. Wow. Um, do we need these reinforcements? I think we do. They might actually have something in here. I was going to go finish them off, but I think I will just... Take the fort. All right, and our archers have arrived. Check our research quick. Okay, we will definitely have enchant six. So we'll take Baratos, we'll grab some gems. And I think we will try for Evo five. I doubt we'll get it. Yeah, let's roll that. I hope they give the AI some pointers. Yeah, there's, like, Mickland. Mickland really needs to start the game with a priest doing a blood sacrifice. That's all the AI needs to get started on Mickland. Like, how many of our games have Mickland got Dom killed on accident? Like, two or three streams? And I've only done, like, what? Less than ten streams? That's not good odds. They haven't been in every stream either, so... Yeah. Or, like I said, I wish I could just tell the game, use pretenders I've designed. And just let the AI use those. Because even just that would help them. They obviously wouldn't play as good as we would with them, but still. Oh, he is still bouncing that throne. That's another one. Like, 
tell the AI not to do that. Like, don't. Like, you're never going to kill anything doing that. All right, we found some fire gems. We found some astral pearls. We still, we're still not through that. Wow. Okay. There must be something pretty big in here. Because, well, no, I guess Baratos also gets extra high forts, don't they? Yeah, this is a castle. That's why it's taking us so long. Because it's a castle, not a fort. Okay. I'm slightly less worried about what's inside there. All right. We will try this guy on auto search again. Hopefully he will do better this time. Pick up the last of our archers. I think we will park him over here. Actually, no. Let's go up there. Keep our entire western front fortified. Let's not have an oops. Could actually use a temple up here. Get him to head that way. In fact, I actually think I could use a holy three also. Oops. Not from here, though. Get a little bit of preaching going on. We might be able to get some dominion on this throne by the time we get there. Make it a little easier on ourselves. If you want to sink hours and hours of studying fictional world's history, then Suzerain is the game for you. Oh, that, that sounds good, actually. <laughs> That's kind of like um, Shadows of the Forbidden Gods. Um, a really cool game. I, I ran a test game a couple of weeks ago to see if I could stream it. I enjoy it, but it's one of those games where you spend a lot of time just clicking and reading and being like, Oh, yes, okay, there's a family connection between these two characters. And while it's interesting to play it and come up with the strategies, I don't think it's interesting to watch. It's a lot of, like, hitting intern for ten turns in a row while your agents do something. I'm not sure how good the experience would be. All right, we did get enchantment finished, so we will have rigor mortis. Our Evo's jumping pretty quick. All right, and we did get our breach. Cool. All right, um, boy, this is going to suck. <laughs> I think what we're going to do, we're going to try to ram our way through the door. How many, do we have any chariots here? No, unfortunately not. Shoot. All right. I think we're going to just try to ram our heavy cav through the front door before things get too full. So we are going to attack rearmost and attack rearmost. We're not going to hold. We're just going to blitz through. And then back here, basically just kind of spread out a little bit. It's just literally going to be a skeleton moss pit, and there's nothing I can do about that. So, this is going to be a grindy, grindy, grindy combat if they have troops in there. I think we'll move these guys up too. Get, get our Achilles units up front. No holding because they're going to get shot up by the archers. You guys try to kill the archers. Attack. All right, Storm Castle. Have fun storming the castle, boys. All right, he came here to build a temple. Just in case we finish that, what would we want? Control dead, wither bones, leprosy. Burden of Time is a really, this is a screw everyone else spell. This is what gets Ermor in Middle Age and Late Age killed. Because everyone's so terrified you're going to cast this spell. It literally just makes everyone get old and die. But you play undead so it doesn't matter to you. Raises the death scales. Raises unrest. Kills the entire world. This is the spell that even if you promise people you won't cast it. 
everyone's like, yeah, Armor's going to cast it. <laughs> Just kill him. Because <laughs> you have to. I, I think there's somewhere in the fine print that says if you play Ermor, you have to cast Burden of Time. It, you just have to look really carefully. We could go up Conjuration, but we won't use it before the game ends. So I think we'll just get, I don't know, some alteration a little bit. Yeah, we're not going to cast any of this. If the game was going to last longer, I would look at what we're going to do as Shamans in Communion. I guess that probably would end up being Alteration. So, I guess that is the path we would take. We could. We do. What do we have for Nature from here? Yeah. We could cast Relief. We don't really need it. That would help our Heavy Infantry and our Heavy Cav. We could go up to 7 for Mass Regen. That would actually be pretty useful. But none of that's going to matter. I think we're going to finish before that beca would become pertinent. Alright, let's see this Siege. Mr. Karoden, I've been trying to expand my EA capabilities away from just Nefelheim and Agartha, Great Nations, and been enjoying the... So I've been enjoying these. Nice. Glad to hear it. What are you what are you working on next? Yeah, maybe I will look into that, bro. I'll I'll throw that on my um Steam wish list. Um it would be summer before I would get to something like that probably, but that does sound interesting. Okay, Evo done. Okay, this is the battle I'm interested in. All right. So we're rushing the gate. I don't think we're going to get through here before tramplers arrive, though. Because we'll use our first couple lance charges, and then we quagmire. Yeah. Darn. All right, what do you guys got? That's trouble right there. That's big trouble. All right, what just landed? Wervens. Okay. Did not land in my leadership, though. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Those are a little sketchy. Stab them. them. Good job, boys. These poor warriors keep getting confused about these dumb birds. They keep walking forwards and backwards. That's a little annoying. I'll have to remember that when we're scripting a castle battle. If we have superior range power, use those birds to keep messing with the attack closest AI. I really dislike that you are retreating. Reborn are quite cowardly. I don't know if I showed that. Not you, you're a sorrow answer. You're also a Sorrow Lancer. Yeah, nine morale, hostile domain. Yeah, they are quite cowardly, whereas the Sorrow Mancers are much better. I guess it helps if you know you can't actually die to be brave. All right, there's those stupid drakes burning a lot of our guys. Okay, got one, got the other, okay. However, we are routing some. We're through with others. Man. Ooh. It's a good thing they didn't have more. If they had a little bit more AoE, a few more of those fire drakes, they would have won that. Raiders from the sea are harassing coastal settlements. Well, there you go. Taskmaster died from disease. There you go. Typhoid. Okay, um... Oh, and they're getting sieged in their other fort. <laughs> Sucks to be you guys. Alright, we're probably going to have to do some reorganization here, because we lost a lot of stuff there. Oh, 
maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Maybe it was. <laughs> okay. Um, we regroup those guys. All right, so what do we still have? We still have a group of heavy cap. We are out of elite warriors, essentially. We have a tiny bit. We have two groups of them. You guys group up with them. That means you don't need to be here. You can go pick up reinforcements just in case we need those. Yeah, let's produce a few turns of those and some sorrow mancers. Okay. Um, everyone else looks like they're basically needed. All right, next step, let's set up for rigor mortis. I should have made a skull staff. I should have made a school staff. Okay, let's, we'll take a second and we're gonna make some school staffs. And then all of you guys are gonna get like three death gems, I think. We're going to have to go through two throne battles. The first one will ah, shoot. The first one will be the hardest, so I feel like I'm okay with just letting them gym dump for like an assured victory. All right, and you are probably going to be one of the rigor mortis guys. Oh, man, I I will say one of one of my biggest pain points still at the moment is this gym UI. Like, my muscle memory tells me I have to hit escape, and every time you hit escape, everything just breaks. <laughs> you really don't want to hit escape on that stream, on that screen. You really, really just want to click on people. I, like, took my hand off the keyboard so I would stop doing that. Right, who didn't get any? And then let's have, let's say, this guy carry the last of them. Good enough. We'll forge our staves. Everyone else can... Can we research? Yeah. Patrol, but research if you can. Baratos is basically done. They've got both those under siege. I would go kill that, but I think it's unnecessary. So next turn we'll move out. One, two, throne, claim throne. One, two, three, claim throne, victory. So we're about ten turns out from winning. You came here, you built a temple, and now you're going to research, I suppose. Eh, you could search. You are one of the cowards. You don't get gems. We don't, we don't trust you anymore. All right, this Holy Three is going to head over there. I think I do want another one. We'll roll it. Next up, next up is Therados for me. I've had a decent percenter design. I'm doing something wrong because I can't even hold the cap circle as them. Um, Therados is hard. They're really hard to get started because you need some territory to start getting your ghosts up and running. Um, just off the top of my head, they're ghosts with spectral weapons, but they're ghosts that don't know they're dead, so they still have morale. Have you tried doing the... Oh, I, I'm lo I lost their name. The, the big monster guys that lead them. If you take one of those as your pretender, they auto-cast Foul Vapors. And if you have them run around with just ghosts, you won't kill the ghosts with your Foul Vapors. So all the ghosts have to do is just kind of stay alive for a few rounds and you auto-win. That's You could do that with an Awake guy. You could go with like an Awake Earth Serpent with like Hard Skin Bless. 
It doesn't do much for your sacreds, but that could expand for you. Um, you can really trash your scales, so you should be able to get something awake that can help you if you're struggling with that. That's just kind of off the top of my head there. Telkin, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that. But yeah, they can start with one, and they, they auto-cast Foul Vapors. So as long as you only bring your ghosts with you, you don't have to worry about friendly fire from that. Okay, I don't think there's any fights I particularly care about here. Random. Okay, they're going to try to go here. I'm just going to PD dump this. See if they fall into that trap. All right, you guys, we need to equip our staves that we made. Oh my goodness, so many death mages. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Couldn't find him. All right, and we are going to have, I think, you will be our rigor mortis caster. So rigor mortis is a battlefield-wide spell, and all units on the battlefield take 10 armor negating fatigue damage, magic resist negates, undead and inanimates are immune. So this will affect us, however, by the time it really becomes pertinent, we'll have a bunch of undead on the field. So for this guy, I'm going to have him skeletal body. I'm going to have him... I think I'm just going to have him hold a couple turns and then we'll cast it. So we'll get our, our skelly spam out of the way first before we rigor mortis. And let's make sure he is kind of in a safe spot because we don't want him to die. And everyone else should be back on Horde of Skeleton Spam. And because we have that many gems, they are going to go to town on that. We also have a couple guys with higher death and or gems and or staves. So we are going to have skeletons coming out of our, our ears here. All right. Everyone back in group, we moving out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight turns till victory. Unless something goes Rex. You guys can just go back to research. How many guys we yeah, look at all look at all this undead stuff we picked up back here. These out of the way. So, over those turns, we picked up all these undead. So, 156 units. This is quite a lot of undead. And they're pretty decent, actually. I'm, I'm quite impressed with Statista's undead here. I forgot that the early age ones had some pretty decent ones. I guess they also have some of these unarmored ones. These are kind of garbage, but that's okay. They're just chaff for the better skeletons, which are chaff for the better units. So it's, it's skeletons all the way down. All the way down. And just in case, I am going to send these guys. Let's leave their item behind. I'm going to drag these skeletons to the front just in case we need reinforcements or something. Hopefully it would not come to that, but... Better safe than Rexed. How do you deal with Therados late game? The sheer amount of ghosts gets nutty. Yes, it does. Um, you don't you don't deal with them in late game because you killed them as soon as you saw them. <laughs> That's the short answer. Um, beyond just priests. Don't forget that there's other spells that specifically counter undead, and they're very powerful. 
I think that one's called Cleansing Water. There's an astral one that's pretty easy to cast. Um, there's a nature one that I believe it's weaker against uh, ethereal undead, but it still affects them. It's called like maggots or something. Those are all really good against them. Otherwise, because they're ethereal, AoE things that can just hit them, so fire stuff. They, Therados also still has morale, so you can still attack them their morale and get them to just rout. That is a big, big weakness. Um, also, remember, they're using spectral weapons, so they don't attack your protection. They attack your magic resist, so get uh, anti-magic cast, and it will nerf their damage by quite a lot. Ooh, feel my voice going there. All right, let's get this wrapped up before I lose it. Finished Evo. Unexpected event. We saw a major. Oh, we have a death match coming up. That's kind of cool. Can we make anything cool? We do have a guy at our capital who we've kind of been saving. Let's let's do this. Let's make something cool. Why not? We'll form a, we'll forge a mace of eruption and we need some for, form of armor. What if we had some chainmail of displacement? That'd be pretty cool. Okay. So we have a weapon and armor. We need some kind of shield. You know what I'd really like is this shield. Let's empower. This is this is pure vanity. You should not do this. We'll empower him in nature and we'll make us a shield. And then we need a helmet. Like a horror helmet. That gives us fear. Or we could have a spirit mask. Which auto casts Frighten. I feel like the fear is better than Frighten. Okay. We'll grab an amulet of anti-magic. In fact, actually, does he have to make that, or can you make that? You can make that. Go back to research. Let's not get too cocky here. It was it was foretold sooner or later Domar's day would come, and his day is coming soon. If he wins the arena championship, I think he goes into the Pantheon with Rex. Even if he kills one guy, he kills one guy, he gets to join the Pantheon. That's his uh, hazing ritual that he has to go through. You have to kill one guy in the deathmatch arena. Domar the champ. I'm telling you, man, this is going to be cool. <laughs> Domar, son of Beak. <laughs> Okay. So what do we got so far? So here's my thought. So we have fear because we don't have his crappy stats don't matter if he scares them away. We've got a piece of armor which gives him some extra HP, good protection really, and we have displacement. So they have a 50% chance to miss us, minus 10 attack on their first attack. Okay. The Mace of Eruption he probably won't be able to hit, but the flame eruption is just an area of effect one, so you don't have to hit for that to take effect. We have the anti-magic to make him magic resistant in case somebody has like a holy three spell or something. Okay, we could give him a bear claw talisman. Extra morale isn't bad. I think what he really needs, though, 
is either more HP or some attack skill. Because protection is not bad, so some HP would really be nice. What can we make that gives HP? Ring of Warding, no. Burning Pearl would be nice. That would give him a bunch of attack, but like I said, I don't think he's going to be able to hit. I really don't think he's he's going to. Extra Morale wouldn't be bad. We could make him flying. I'm not sure how that would help. We could give him an enchant. That would just be more attacks. I don't hate that. Do we have somebody with Earth? Yeah. I think I think there's a pair of boots that have some HP, aren't there? Strength, fire resist, flying doesn't help us. Stone skin. Stone skin helps us. We're too low level. Alright, well, we're not going to be able to get that. Alright, if that's the case, I think we go with the morale item. Can we make some death boots of some sort? Reinvigoration is not terrible. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave that. We'll get those crafted for him. Hopefully, well, it's not this turn, right? Oh, we need the shield. Almost forgot. Um, you, make the shield. I'm going to laugh so hard if he wins. That's going to be amazing. All right. Um, oh, they attacked in a different spot that I wasn't expecting, but they also lost. Baratos, just go gently into the night, man. Knock this off. I don't got time for you. I'm gonna lose my voice pretty soon. We gotta, we gotta get this wrapped up. All right, you can go back to research. Roll that. A, a trusty shield. We will get him the trustiest shield I can. Even after the nerf, I feel like the vine shield is still top tier. And in a one-on-one -on -one fight, it definitely will be. Because the nerf won't affect it. Okay. Domar. Shield. Our pendant. And our boots. So we are completely stocked up. Let's see what he ended up with. 16 HP, so a strong human. 19 protection is pretty dang good. That's pretty dang good. Magic is S14 is about as good as we're going to get him. He's got good morale. His combat speed's a little low. Defense is a little low, but we do have displacement. We can auto hit with the mace, hopefully. And our entangling will make it so that they have, like, no defense and then he can actually hit them. I, I think he has a chance. The only thing is, empower him. <laughs> okay. The only thing is, what do we do against a fire giant? Because our Mace of Eruption does fire damage. If we go up against a fire giant, we just lose. I think we just have to accept that. All right, Delmar, let's see what we got. What what would make us win against a fire giant? If we had water, what could we do with water one? We really don't have a lot here.
Look, yeah, we really don't have a lot here, I think, that would help. Protection from fire, I guess, would help. So if we, if we, do we have enough gems for that? No. No, no, that's not going to make a difference. We're, he, he, he's not into, um, he's willing to use gear, but not performance enhancers. He has his pride as a farmer, as a goat herder. Oh, spoilers, spoilers, what am I doing, what am I doing? No, we this we have one more thrown after this. This is throne number three. Man, what is with all the werevins this game? I'm tired of these werevins. Yeah, we are literally gonna drown them in skeletons if nothing else works. But it looks like our heavy cav got to the rear, so I think that will probably work. There goes Rigor Mortis. We'll give it a couple rounds here and we'll check it on some people. All right, let's see. 41 fatigue, 74 fatigue. 17. Okay, so this guy got hit for sure by one of those. So he's already almost exhausted. Not so bad here. Not so bad there. You can see these little puffs on the squares that are getting hit each round. Bunch of stuff back here got hit by it. Now this does friendly fire. So if you, the ideal is that you're running mostly undead that are, aren't affected by it. And then we just keep spitting more and more undead until we pass out. You guys all passed out. Yeah, all the heavy cab passed out right at right the finish line. <laughs> This mage is taking damage. He's so, so exhausted. Now, the only thing we don't want to see is our own backline die. It's fine if they don't cast. Okay, good. We did not fatigue ourselves to death. All right, so from here, we need to claim this throne. We got the inner throne. Order plus one, that's great. Produces Blood Slaves and produces Earth Gems. Great throne. Very nice. Could this be it, gentlemen? Could we finish a game with four good thrones? I, I don't even want to, like, dream. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm not seeing that we can set up for the arena match yet. Just to double check. Cannot send him yet. I want to make sure I don't miss that. Why are you? Oh, you were my you were my explorer. Shoot, didn't fix his script properly. All right, well you can catch up this turn. Did it with you. Back with some food and coffee. Well, good. You didn't miss the arena match. I think we're going to be able to send him this turn. I think that warning was a three-turn warning. Yeah, upcoming arena battle. All right. So for the record, Domar, the peasant, and his uh, goat cheerleaders, his whole team there. Domar has Mace of Eruption, a Vine Shield, a Horror Helm, Chainmail of D Displacement, Boots of the Messenger, an Anti-Magic Amulet, and a Pendant of Courage. He fights for our honor and his place at the table. Domar, you can do it.
Beak believes in you, Domar. Beak believes in you. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in Beak, who believes in you. All right, and we got our throne, yes. I think I'm just going to PD dump this. We're not at war with Kailasa, right? Just to double check. They're apprehensive, that's fine. Apprehensive yourself into like 990, into 100 PD. Okay. For a route, I guess we'd rather go warm than cold. So we go here, 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 here. That takes us close to the capital, though. That does avoid this fort. I think we do it. <clears throat> Sorry, Kailasa. You're just in the way, man. All right, I'm going to try not to spoil the uh, arena results. So I'm going to try to just find our first flag. I've got my hand holding up between me and the screen. All right, first one that we're involved in is this one. Ermor versus Satis, the match everyone has been waiting for. All right, they sent an auger, fire one, astral one. I'm going to put my money on Domar. You got this, Domar. Okay, his slow combat speed of only 10, giving the enemy a lot of time to, to pre-buff. He just got protection from fire. That's not good. That's part of our plan is to take him out with fire. Okay, we took five damage. Okay, let's look. Okay, he hits us with star fires for five points of damage. Five plus eight versus protection roll of eight. That must be armor negating. Or armor piercing, one of the two. Bonds of fire. Okay, we interrupted bonds of fire. Okay, he got hit in the head, and because it was blunt damage, it was increased. Damage roll 23 versus, plus 4 versus prot of 0 plus 7. 20 points of damage, but twist fate negates the damage. Oh, that was our killing blow right there. Peasant hits Augur in the head with base of eruption for 0. Oh. Okay, however, the shield procced, so now he is entangled. He got out, he's burning hands, we're on fire. But he runs away like the coward he is. How you doing, Domar? Domar's in fighting fit form. No lasting injuries. The crowd is silent, ag aghast that Domar, a simple farmer boy, rumored to be a child of Beak, the god of Satis, wins his first match. But he's immediately thrown into a, not direct enemy, but a competitor right away. And it looks like we have Katrin, the Sorgina from Pyrene. She's a shapeshifter, but I don't think being a cat will help you here. I think the big worry is Lightning Bolt. I have a feeling that she's going to go for a Lightning Bolt. And Domar, while well, he is... No, this is not even us. This isn't even us. Domar doesn't even have to fight her. All right. A little bit of uh, scouting for future battles. Kailasa has another Holy Three. It's their Prophet again. So we're looking at Holy Spam probably. Okay. I'm going to speed this up since we're not actually fighting here. Okay, a hawk is a good summon. Any summons are really good in these one-on-one -on -one duels. Going for hawks, keeps getting interrupted. Taken out with word of power. Not unexpected. She should have gone for the lightning bolt. She might have had a chance. Okay, for realsies this time. Domar fights. Alright, who are you fighting, Domar? Oh, okay. Another ancient enemy of the Pantheon. 
We have Muspelhurst. No magic to his name other than a priest one. That's not going to save you there. He does have high fire resistance, though. So we're, we're going to struggle to hit him with that Mace of Eruption. So what we're lo probably looking for here is a Fear Route. We're probably looking to scare him off the field again. They can see the confidence in Domar's eyes. His previous victory bolstering his resolve. He can do this. He can do this. Okay, shield procs. The mace hits five damage. The crowd's going wild. Five fire damage to the fire giant. What? Peasant hit Muspel Hearse in the leg with Mace of Eruption for five points of damage. Flame Eruption dealt zero. He misses. Displacement first attack miss. 16 down to six. Okay, they're sizing each other up. The combatants, they're a little... Oh! Oh! The giant kicks sand into Domar's eyes! Domar can't... Oh, no! Domar, no! And the grudge is renewed again. Domar should have won that. But the giants, and their cheating ways... Domar was just a man. How could he compete against unbridled hate of the giants. In the end, let's see who wins. In the end, they are avenged by Kalasa. Maybe maybe seeking peace, hoping that this gesture would save them. But unfortunately, though he grieves for his son, Beak knows he can do nothing except for ascend if he truly wishes to avenge Domar. He orders his forces to march on the throne. F's in chat for Domar. We believed in him. And he believed in him. <laughs> Those arena battles are always so scuffed. If you're not playing a monster race, it is so impossible to actually survive. Because, like, everything kills you. A lightning bolt, a hawk, a stray pebble, a giant... <laughs> Uh, scouts doing nothing, that's fine. Yeah, Muspel, we had just kind of come to terms with them, but little did we know of their treachery. Little did we know. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Gnome Peaks, this one. Um, let's see if it's worth looking at. Eh, yeah, it is. We are starving, so that's not a good sign. And it's cold. However, we, we get out so many skeletons with this army that even if our entire army passes out, I think we'll be just fine. Yep. Alright. Kalasa does attack us over here. We don't really care. All we care about is the thrones. So one, two, three. And next turn will be four. Man, I wish that would warm up before we got there, but it probably will not. All right, we need to move some gems around because you are the rigor mortis caster. So you get all the gems. Have fun. We're fighting Slingers, Heavy Infantry, Elephant Riders, and Cave Drakes. So I don't think they can kill us, even though we're fighting in Cold 4. Oh, oh, Calum, why? Yeah, when we get in there, I'll have to check the encumbrance. It's going to be ridiculous on our guys. That is unfortunate. I don't care about you... Yeah, all right, we're, we are heading towards victory. I'm not going to think too much about that. Yeah, Domar won a round. I mean, literally think about that. Like, human farm boy 
won one round in the arena death match of the gods. He he's a legend. You know, we're gonna have to go dig his spirit out of the river sticks once we ascend. Domar is the son that we wish we had, not Rex. All right, here is us. I believe this one's the throne. All right, let's see how screwed we are. This is our heavy infantry. 18 encumbrance. 18 encumbrance. We get one round before we hit penalties from our plus eight from cold biome. Note, this has drastically been nerfed since Dom 5. In Dom 5, I swear it was like 5. This would have been plus 20 fatigue. That is horrible. That's enough that that's even going to affect our casters. You know, his his goats are still mourning. Every day, they just hang out near his opulent tomb that we built. So it's very pyramid. Maybe we mummified him. Perhaps someday, the ancestors of Satis will be able to resurrect Domar. There actually is... Did he actually get legendary? Because there's a spell that you can use to resurrect heroes. Is that mummification, I think? I don't remember the exact name, because it's pretty rare to use. But if he made a famous hero from that fight, he might be resurrectable. All right, let's look at some fatigue here. Only 11? Okay. He wasn't having to fight too much. 33. I guess it's good that we didn't end up in grindy combat here. Don't think there's too much to watch on this one. Ironically, the cold actually helps us against that fire breath. Yeah, and we just route him off the field. Pretty good. Pretty good. We had pretty tame thrones this time around. I guess that one on our west side was a little more wild, but all the ones that we fought were pretty dang tame for level. Level 2 thrones. What'd we get? Throne of the Moon. Growth plus 1. Wow. We had a game with no bad thrones. Not the most usable bonus here, but growth is great. Growth is absolutely perfectly fine. We'll claim our throne. We will patrol. We will add 100. <laughs> we'll add 100 defense because we can. They did try to take my throne in Corbin. Uh, da, 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 da. Was this Corbin? Oh no, we found a, a scout. Okay. Just in case. Could you guys go there, please? And you. Just in case. Alright, this should be victory. This, this has been a very surreal uh, game. We had the worst embarrassing levels of expansion. And then nobody took advantage of it. So we built a bunch of infrastructure. So we built a bunch of armies. And then we just went and took a bunch of thrones. Like, what a weird game. There's Kalasa raiding everything that we own. However, they did not get the throne. So there is victory. You reign supreme. You are the Pantacrator. But even with all that power, you are unable to raise your dead son Domar. In grief, you leave this dimension, seeking a place where you can find solitude. What a sad ending. What a sad ending. To a pretty good stream. To a pretty good stream. It was really cool tonight to see some new faces and to have people say that they were finally able to make a stream, that is really cool. It's way more fun to play Dominions and hang out with you guys than it is just to play solo. 
So I appreciate each and every person who makes it, and I appreciate each and every person who watches the stream throughout the week. I wanted to say thank you again for everyone's uh, support, for the subscribers, for the people who've watched, for the super chats, for the super thanks. It, it means a lot to me, and it really just keeps me going. I was, I was really tired this week, and all I could think about is, man, I hope I don't let people down on, on stream, because people are really looking forward to Satis. So I'm glad it turned out well. Um, it would have been the cherry on top if Domar had managed to win. His, his goats will be mummified, and we will entomb them with him for eternity. And who knows, maybe in the future, Satis will see Domar again, and he will have his uh, revenge on... I guess Messelheim dies out before he even comes back, but maybe he just needs revenge on the entire world for the injustice of it. We shall have to see in good time. Okay, the plan is for Lonka Video Monday. I might not release on normal time. I might release it a little bit later. I might actually premiere it. So that means it comes out like a live stream almost, and you can chat while that plays for the the premiere. We'll, we'll see. I may or may not try that out. Other than that, I'm planning on regular stream time or maybe an hour earlier next Friday. Um, I am not working that day, so I do have the option to start a little early. I'll see how sketchy I feel about Lanka and Five Thrones um, when we get there. So I think that's going to be a really cool one. Uh, if you are a person who likes to check out and do research along with me, I'm very open to Lonka Blesses. I have one in mind that I used in 5. I have not tested it in 6 yet, so we will see. They have so many sacreds that I think mini blesses could be quite good for them. Okay, and with that, I'm going to save what little bit of my voice is left for recording the Lonka video this weekend. Uh, thank you again, uh, German, for the super chat. Thank you to everyone who was here. And check out some of the other videos if you're interested in RimWorld. People were really enjoying that first RimWorld video I put up. And all the old Dominions content is still there if you want to relive some happy memories. All right, builders, take care. Build something good this week. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good week.